Hey Junior, sorry we're late to the Happy Meal party. Oh dude, I'm so sorry I'm late. It was so much traffic and I had to steal my Happy Meal from the drive-thru. It's fine. Wait, Junior, you started eating without us? Yeah, I was hungry. Wait, what's wrong with your chicken nuggets? There's nothing wrong with them. Well, they have little red dots all over them. Oh, I thought that meant they were spicy. No, I don't think that's what that means. I wouldn't eat those. Yeah, me either, dude. They don't look good. Well, well, well maybe, maybe all those red dots are just a bunch of snipers pointing their sniper rifles at them. But Junior, that's an even better reason not to eat them. Hey Joseph, these chicken nuggets look like Cody's face. <laughs> <laughs> True, dude. All the little red dots are all the pimples on Cody's face. <laughs> He's such a nerd. Okay, screw you guys. I'm just going to eat my Happy Meal. Yeah, just eat it. See, Junior, this is what normal chicken nuggets are supposed to look like. Well, Cody, look at my face. This is what a normal face is supposed to look like. Not covered in pimples. <laughs> okay, fine. Just enjoy your weird chicken nuggets then. Okay, I will. Oh, dude, they forgot the toy! No, they didn't. No, they did not. I can't believe this. Screw them! But they got the apple slices, though. Well, we can't play with apple slices. Oh, yes, you can, dude. Look, it's a mustache. I'm a detective. That's so funny! <laughs> Dude, Junior, what's wrong with you? What? There's nothing wrong with me. Whoa, dude! You have little red dots all over you. Oh, the snipers are pointing at me! Ah, you can't! No, jo Joseph, don't touch him. He might be contagious. Well, what, are you, what, what are you guys talking about? Go look in the mirror. Uh, okay, what are they talking about? <gasps> ah! I look like Cody! Ah! Guys, 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 I look like Cody. What, gay? What, no, not that. I have all these pimples on my face, like Cody does. Junior, those aren't pimples. These are pimples. Well, at least he finally admitted he was a pimple face freak. Yeah, the first step is admitting it. Uh -huh. Guys, I know I have acne. You don't have to point it out all the time. Admit you're ugly. No. Now he doesn't admit it? I know. What, what's his problem? But anyway, guys, what do you think I have? Like, what do you think this is? Well, you did eat a chicken nugget that had red dots on it, so it probably came from that. What do you think it's called? Uh, I don't know, but it probably has the word chicken in it. Like, chicken dots. Yeah, that sounds right. You think I have chicken dots? Yeah. Okay, well, we have to call a doctor. Can, can you call a doctor? Yeah, I will, but I don't want to get chicken dots, so I'm going to go home. What? Well, you're gonna stay here, right? Yeah, dude, I don't care about getting chicken dots. Okay, so until the doctor gets here, let's play with your apple slice. Uh, look, it looks like a boat. What's with you people in boats, huh? Is there something you want to tell me? Hey there, somebody call a doc. Whoa, what is wrong with your skin? Stay away from me. Wow, you never seen a black person before? Oh, no, 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 no. I, I was talking to him. So much racism in this room right now. No, 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 no. I, I was talking to him because he has red dots on him. You know what? I'll let it slide this time. Whew, I was close. I almost lost my job. So what's going on? Well, I have all these red dots all over me. Oh, yeah, you look just like my scrotum in college. Well, what do you think it is? Well, if you're anything like me, you got it from a fat girl named Gabby. Do you know Gabby? What? No. No, you probably don't have what I had then. Wait, did you eat these polka dot chicken nuggets? Well, yeah, I did. Well, that's probably where it came from. These chicken nuggets are clearly contaminated. They what? put out a health warning. Didn't you hear about that? Well, they're contaminated with what? Well, they're contaminated with chicken pox. Yeah, they're saying that if you buy the chicken nuggets at, at McDonald's with the chicken pox, you... I don't fucking know. I'm going to have one of these chicken nuggets. That's good. That's my lunch break. So what would you suggest I do? I would suggest you stay away from people... And uh, don't hook up with fat girls named Gabby. I'm going to take these. I'm glad that racist doctor's gone. Well, Joseph, he said to stay away from people. <coughs> so I don't want to... <coughs> I don't want to get you sick. Oh, uh, you're right, dude. I'm going to go home. Oh, dude, I forgot my Happy Meal. Wait, you're still eating those nuggets? Well, I'm already sick, so what's the worst that could happen? Uh, I guess you're right. Wait, wait, Ken's still here? <gasps> Cody must have left Ken here. <gasps> we should prank Cody. We should get a red Sharpie and put red dots all over Ken, and he'll think Ken got the chicken pox. Oh, dude, that would be hilarious. Go get a red Sharpie. Okay, all right, I got the Sharpie, dude. What? That's the wrong color, Joseph. What? The wrong color? So you're saying it's wrong to be brown? What? No, 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 no. I just said get a, get a red Sharpie because he needs red dots because it's chicken pox. <laughs> I'm just testing you, dude. Uh, okay. All right, dude. Here's the red Sharpie. Oh, man. This is going to be so funny because Cody's going to think he has chicken pox. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to start putting dots all over. All right. Let's do it. <laughs> and done. Oh, dude. He looks like he has the chicken pox. I'm going to call Cody and tell me he forgot Ken. Oh, dude. This is going to be so funny. Yeah. All right, Joseph. It's ringing. Jello. Hey, Cody. Uh, you left Ken here. No, I didn't. He's right. Oh, oh my God. I left Ken there. Yeah, he's uh, he's been sitting next to me. And he's been, like, flirting with me, and he tried to come on to me. What? No, no, Ken, Ken wouldn't do that. He, he said we'd wait until we could do it together. What? what? I'm on my way. Okay. Oh, he's coming over, Joseph. Okay. Yeah. Okay, guys, I'm here. You didn't start without me, did you? Cody, why don't you have a shirt on? Well, I thought we were all three going to finally do this. Do what? Well, you said Ken was flirting with you, so I thought we were going to, you know, so I took a shower. That's why my hair's still wet. Um, oh no, Cody! Uh, what's all these red bumps on Ken? Well, Ken, what happened? You didn't eat cheese, did you? You know you're allergic to cheese. He gets like this when he eats cheese. Oh, Ken. 
I'm gonna have to punish you for eating all that cheese, you dirty little mouse. I'm gonna have to spank your little mouse ass, and I may never stop. Somebody's gonna have to send me a cease and desist letter. Turn around, guys. This is gonna get graphic. Uh, uh, Cody, I, I think he might just have the chicken pox. But chicken pox? Is that what you have? Yeah, the doctor said I have chicken pox, and now Ken has it. Well, why would Ken have chicken pox unless... <gasps> Oh my god, you've been making out with Ken! Well, no I haven't! Did Junior explain why Ken's over here when I left him over here? Well, I, I picked him up and put him right here. And then you kissed him! Well, no I didn't! Alright Junior, that's it, we're gonna fight. Well, I don't wanna fight you, Cody. No, I'm gonna fight you, Junior, nobody kisses my boyfriend! Well, I don't wanna fight, Cody. Why not? Are you chicken? Oh my god, Junior, you actually are a chicken! Dude, what's happening? I think eating the chicken nuggets turned him into a chicken. Ken. I, I said stop it. Okay, that's it. You want a cockfight, huh? Well, I'm gonna whip it out. You're, you're lucky my zipper's stuck. Ow, 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 stop pegging me. Ow, ow. Oh. ow, okay, okay, you win. I'm, I'm gonna call a doctor. Hey there, this is the second time I've come today. Oh, you, you're just a whole chicken now. What are we gonna do? Uh, well, at least we can confirm he didn't get this from Gabby. But the good news is I have a cure for this. You do? Yeah, I can give him this shot of Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce. It'll turn him back into a human, and also make him age backwards, but you know, it'll fix it. Well, give it to him then! Okay, come here, you. Hold still, hold still. C -c Could you hold him down? I need to get the shot in there. Uh, okay. <coughs> yeah, <dude. coughs> Alright, that should do it. So when will he be back to normal, Doctor? Nah, just give him a few minutes. Doctor, Doctor! Can you turn my boyfriend back to normal, too? It's just a doll, kid. He's not a doll, Doctor! I told you he was a stupid doll, Cody! He's not a doll, Doctor! Yes, he is, dude! <laughs> Whoa, dude, you're back to normal! Sorta. Of. Oh, guys, what happened? Well, you turned into a chicken for a while. But don't think I forgot about how we were gonna fight. We're gonna fight right now! Well, Cody, I don't wanna fight you. Ken did not cheat on you. Oh, yeah? Prove it. Prove we did cheat. The dots? Oh, oh, come on, Cody. This is what happened. We wanted to pull a prank on you, so we took a red sharpie and we put red dots on them, so that's what happened. Nope, not buying it, Junior. That did not happen. It did happen. Joseph, tell him about the sharpie. Oh, tell him how the brown sharpie wasn't good enough for you? Oh, I remember that. Oh, no, 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 no. Tell him what the other thing. No, don't deny your past, dude. Uh, look, Cody, what can I do to prove it? Um, get a girlfriend. Get a girlfriend? Well, yeah, if you get a girlfriend, that'll prove that you're not even interested in Ken, so get a girlfriend. I'm not interested in Ken. How am I gonna get a girlfriend tonight? Well, you like that Penelope girl, right? Yeah. Well, just call her, tell her to come over here, and then kiss her in front of me so I know that you don't like Ken. What? She's not gonna... Okay, fine. I'll call her, Cody. Okay, Cody, it's ringing. Why are you calling me, Junior? You wanna make out? Ew, no, Junior! Why? Because, ew! Look, me and Cody are fighting, and I need you to kiss me. Wait, Cody's there? Yeah. Well, I guess I could possibly maybe come over. Tell her I'm not here. But she already knows you're here. Tell her anyway. <sighs> Cody's not here. Why would you just lie to me like that, Junior? I don't know. Ugh, just don't lie to me like that ever again! Okay, I promise, I won't lie. Now tell her I'm here. Do uh, it. Co Cody's actually here. What? Look, 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 can you just come over and kiss me? Ew, no! What if I give you $10? Uh, no, Junior. 20 Hmm. Make it an even $30. I don't have... Okay, fine, I'll do $30. Okay, deal, but only a peck. Okay, fine, just come over. Okay. All right, Cody, she's coming over. Good. Oh, that's her. Oh, okay, wait, uh, wait. She's not gonna kiss me if I have chicken pox. That's not my problem. I'll just, I'll just put band-aids all over it. Uh, hello? Where's my $30? Oh my god, Junior, what happened to you? I fell off my skateboard into a glass window that shattered into like a million pieces, and there's also a wasp nest, so I got stung. Oh my god, you poor thing. So now you feel bad for charging me money to kiss? Kinda. Um, I'll kiss you right now. Uh, well, it can't be right here. It has to be upstairs. Wait, why? It just, that, that's where I want to do it, so come on. Ugh! Cody, hide! Why? Hide! Okay. Where's my $30? It's right here. Why is Cody hiding behind the McDonald's box? Hey, Penelope. What? Look, your $30 is right here. Junior, that's $3! I thought that's what we agreed on. No! Ah! I did it, Cody. What a shit show. I still want to fight. Wait, what? I kissed the girl. I proved I'm, I, I don't want Ken. Yeah, I know. I'm just kind of still in the mood to fight. So let's fight. Come on, let's do it. Oh, okay. Well, well, can we fight in the kitchen? Why? Because Chef Baby needs to be a referee, like, you know, to make sure that no one, like, like, we don't bite each other or, or break each other's bones. All right, fine, whatever. Let's go fight in the kitchen. Chef Baby, Chef Baby! Junior, your dinner's right here. Cheese balls. Yes, I don't feel like cooking tonight. Wait, why do you have those band-aids all over your face? You're wasting them. I'm not wasting them. You don't have that many boo-boos, Junior. I have this many boo-boos. He's about to have a lot more boo-boos when we fight. Wait, Cody, why do you have your shirt off? You're looking so damn sexy. Damn! Thank you. Me and Junior are gonna fight. Oh, wait, really fight? Oh, I need a front row seat to this. Where my cheese balls? What, no, no, Chef Baby's supposed to protect me. Cody, I don't want to fight. Well, too bad. We're fighting. <clears throat> what? No, what? <clears throat> okay. 
Where'd you go, Junior? Where oh my god, he turned into an egg! What happened? Why did he turn into an egg? Well, the doctor gave him a shot to turn him back into a human from being a chicken, but it must have also turned him into an egg. I guess we know which one came first, huh? Well, I'm still gonna beat you up! <clears throat> That's for making out with my boyfriend! I could've made breakfast with that! God! Come on, Ken, we're going home. Your punishment's next, you little mouse boy. Dude, where's Junior? Let's just say he got scrambled. <laughs> so, guys, what do you want to do tonight? Oh, dude, let's throw rocks at cars! No, Joseph, you idiot. It's dark outside. How would we even see the cars? They have headlights, dude. Well, that's more of a morning activity. But sleep in. I'm gonna miss it. Well, you have to get up pretty early in the morning if you want to throw rocks at cars. Oh, fine. So, guys, what do you want to do at night since it's dark? Ooh, 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 I know, I know. We should watch a scary movie, and then whenever I get scared, you can hold me, and then kiss me, and then caress me, and then just kind of see where it goes from there, man. I think we should just turn on the TV and see if we can find something fun to watch. Okay. Hey there, do you love french fries? Well, a new McDonald's location is opening up, and if you're the first customer in line, you can win free french fries for a year! Whoa! Free french fries for a year? Dude, that's a lot of fries! I'm homeless! It'll feed me for like a whole year! Guys, 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 we should totally go to McDonald's right now to guarantee we're the first people in line. Oh yeah, dude, let's totally do it! Cody, you coming with us? No. What? Why? Come on, dude! I just don't really like french fries that much. Oh my god, Cody, are you literally the lamest person I've ever met? I think so, dude. Are you Dr. Lame? In the flesh. Cody, why don't you want to wait in line with us? Well, it just doesn't seem worth it to wait in line for hours just for french fries. It doesn't seem worth it, Cody. We could make so much money from this. Listen, listen. What are french fries made out of? Uh, potatoes. What are mashed potatoes made out of? Potatoes. What are baked potatoes made out of? <sighs> potatoes. So we can go to McDonald's, get our french fries, right? Our free french fries. And then we can go turn them into baked potatoes and sell them. Wait, you can't bake fried potatoes. Oh, okay, Cody, then fine. We, we'll, we'll go to McDonald's every day and get 100 free orders of french fries. And we'll go around driving around and we'll sell them. What, no one's gonna want to buy cold french fries from your car. Well, we'll turn the heater on. Well, they're, they're still gonna be stale and gross. No one's gonna want them. Cody, we'll literally be a McDonald's on wheels. But, uh, yeah, a McDonald's that only sells french fries and nothing else. Well, that's the only thing people want is french fries. That's why they're giving them out for a year. Yeah, it's not like they're a burger place or anything. Okay, come on, Cody. At least come stand in line with us. Okay, look, I'll tell you what. I will stand in line with you, but as soon as I get bored, I'm going home. So what are the odds that you, like, stay the whole time? Zero percent. That's not happening. I like that percent. Yeah, the odds are in our favor, dude. All right, guys, let's go to McDonald's! Yeah, let's go! Guys, I can't believe it! We're first in line at McDonald's! Oh, dude, I can't believe it either! We're actually first! I can't believe it. Really? You can't believe we're the first people to wait in line all night just to get french fries? Cody, stop being a pout-pout fish. Yes, yeah, sour coward. What, what the hell are you talking about? Cody, you're being all sad and mopey. Do you not understand we're gonna get free french fries for a year? 365 days, dude! Yeah, that's enough fries to fix your eyes. Fries that'll tie your tie. Fries that'll stop your cries. Fries that'll keep you from being shy. Shies? Uh, it was close, dude. Really, guys? Is this what we're gonna do for eight hours? Just make fry rhymes? Okay, we, how about we play I Spy? I Spy with my little eye. He's wearing glasses. He's a dork. He's ugly. Okay, you know what? I didn't even want to come here. You're right. It was you. Oh, he's good. Okay, fine. You know what? I have one. I Spy with my little eye. A colossal waste of my time. Your life? What? No, no. Don't, don't. Okay, I have another one. I spy two idiots who are wasting their night just to wait for french fries. Oh, that's us, that's us! Oh, he's good. Yeah, that's right, you win. Okay, oh, wait, Joseph, what? stand right here. Well, why, dude? I want to be first. Oh, no, 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 I want to be first. No, 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 it was my idea, so I got to be first. No, I was first first. No, 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 I want to be first. No, no, dude, get in my get, spot. Get where you belong. Wait, what do you mean by that, dude, huh? Because it was my idea, so you got to be right there. But no, you white people always think you're better than us. No, huh? no, it's my idea to get french fries. You can't, you don't even want french fries. No, you know what, screw your fries, I'm out of here. Dude. Well, good, leave. I don't want you here anyway. Now you. What? Don't you dare try to skip me. I'm not gonna skip you. I don't care. Are you sure? Yes. Don't you try it. I'm not gonna try it. I have the high ground. I don't care. What? <sighs> How much longer do we have to wait? About eight hours. Damn. Yeah, damn. I know. Eight hours? Yeah. I'm starting to get tired. You wanna go home? No, we need to be first in line to get the fries. <sighs> I'm not yawning. I'm just... Oh, my phone's ringing. I don't hear anything. Uh, it's on silent. But then how did you hear it? Uh, hold on, Cody. Chef Pee Pee's calling me. I have to answer it. It might be an emergency. Hello? Chef Pee Pee? Yeah, it's me, Junior. What's wrong? You sound upset. What? What? Why, why are you yelling? You need me to go home right now? But, but I'm at the McDonald's waiting in line with Cody and... 
Uh, really? Right now? Okay, let me tell Cody. Jesus, I hope you have Apple Care. Oh, uh, look, Cody, I have to go home right now. But why? Be because Chef Bibi needs me to clean the entire kitchen because I spill apple juice everywhere. Junior, if you're leaving, I'm leaving. No, 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 you have to hold our spot in line. Someone might take it. Junior, no one's going to take it. Look around. There's no one for miles. Well, look, there might be a guy in that bush over there, and as soon as we leave our spot, he's going to come take our spot in line, and then he can get all the free french fries. Junior, I'm pretty sure nobody else even knows about this damn french fry deal. Look, Cody, just just take, just hold, just wait right here for five minutes. If I'm not back in five minutes, you can leave. Really? No, 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 I need you to wait the whole time. But look, look, just give me an hour. Two. But an hour or two? Jesus, Junior, did you spill a whole uh, orchard's worth of apple juice? What's an orchard? It's where they grow apples. What? But it's, yeah, that's what... But look, just make it quick, okay? Oh, wait, just, just wait right here. Do not leave. Don't leave the spot in line. I'll be right back, okay? Just, just wait right here. Don't leave no matter what. Even if someone tries to take a spot, don't leave. Hurry up! Where the hell is he? Oh, come on, Junior, it's been hours. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna call him. Come on, Junior, answer! Hello? Junior! Huh? Wait, to Junior, wait, what are you doing? Wait, Cody? Yes, where are you? Is it French fry time? What? No, it's not French fry time. Wait, then why did you call me? B because I don't know where you are. You were supposed to be back hours ago. Oh, I'm, uh, I, uh, I'm still cleaning the orange juice. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Earlier you said it was apple juice. Huh? Wait, when you said you had a mess to clean, you said it was apple juice. Oh, yeah, it's both. Wait, what? Yeah, it was, um, it was... It was apple juice, orange juice, grape juice. It was a whole, it was a bunch of fruit juices. Uh, J Junior? What? What, Cody? What do J you want from me? What? what where, where? Where are you? I'm. I, uh, I'm. I'm cleaning up the mess. Well, hurry up and come back. Okay, just give me a few minutes to get up from the ground because I've been wiping up the juices so much with napkins. Hold on. Speaking of napkins, Shavibi, can you give me more napkins? Damn it, Junior, you, you took all the napkins. You don't know we can't afford napkins. <sighs> Junior, that's the worst Chef Pee, Pee impression I've ever heard. What are you talking about, Chef Pee, Pee? Listen, Cody, listen. I'm, let me just get up, okay? Why, why do you keep saying get up? I'm tired from cleaning, and I took a quick, a quick nap on the floor. A nap? I'm on my way. I'm on my way. Do not leave the spot, okay? I'm on my way right now. I'm getting, look, I'm running. Uh, you don't sound like you're running. <sighs> I'm out of breath. I'm, J Junior? Huh? Junior! I'm in the car. Y you're not in the car. I'm going through a tunnel. I'll there are back. no tunnels on the way here. J Junior? Junior! J uh, Junior! Uh. Hey, Cody, how you feeling? I think I'm dying. Man, I had the best sleep of my life in my nice warm bed. Yeah, I bet you did. What's wrong with you? I've been standing here for 12 hours, Junior. I'm exhausted. No one tried to skip you, right? No, no one else cares. No one else is even in line. Can you please just take my spot so I can go home? But I really have to go pee. Well, why didn't you just go at your house? Because I didn't have to go then. Look, what? I'm gonna go pee in that bush over there. Well, why can't you just wait for them to open and then you can use their bathroom? When are they gonna open? Any minute now. Look, I'm gonna go pee in the bush. Just, just wait right here. You've been waiting all night. You can wait one more second. <sighs> just hurry up. Congratulations, boy! You're the first one at McDonald's! Uh, uh, me? No, no, no. Actually, my friend Junior over there peeing in the bush, he, he was actually first. Well, you're the only one here, so you get free french fries for a year! But, no, J Junior was actually first. Well, get a picture with me, boy! Come here! This boy loves his McDonald's! I, I don't actually like it that much. But, Cody! You stole my free french fries for a year?! But, no, Junior, I tried to tell him that Why, you, you thief! You thief! You stood here just so you could get the french fries! You knew how much this meant to me! Well, junior, I don't even want your damn french fries! We're not friends anymore, fatty! What, well, Junior, come on! Well, boy, how does it feel to get all those french fries? But, you know what? It actually feels pretty good. I, I want the fries now. God, I hate Cody so much. Some friend. Junior, you're being ridiculous. Cody, go away. I hate you. Why? Because I waited 12 hours in line for you to get your stupid fries? No, because you took my spot so you could be the first customer. I didn't take your spot. You had to use the bathroom. You made me have to use the bathroom. But how? You put some weird voodoo witchcraft spell on my bladder that made me have to go pee at bad times. What, Junior, do you even hear yourself? You sound insane. Cody, you took my spot and you took my french fries. Look, I don't even want the fries. Take the stupid card. No, I didn't earn them. But yeah, we all know that. I'm the one who waited 12 hours hours in line. You take that back. What What are you talking about? That's just a fact. You know I couldn't wait in line. Chef Pee, Pee needed me to clean the whole house. Okay, I know that's bullshit. What, would Chef Pee, Pee tell you I wasn't actually cleaning? But no, he didn't have to. Oh, Cody, listen. I don't want those stupid dump fries because you stole them from me and I want to be able to call you a thief. Well, okay, fine. Then I'll just take the one free medium fry a week for myself. What? 
Oh, you didn't know? You don't get unlimited fries for a year. You only get one free medium fry a week for one year. So it's not all you can eat french fries? Nope. That's gay. Yeah, I know, but that's what you get, and I'm gonna take it. Well, no, no, actually, I, I want the fries. No, 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 no. You said you didn't want the card, so now I'm gonna take it. But it's only one free medium fry. You might as well just let me have it. No, and it's gonna be the one best free medium fry of my goddamn life. Well, Cody, God, I hate you. Hey there, is this your friend? That's Joseph. Yeah, I caught him throwing rocks at cars. <laughs> Specifically my car while yelling, take that, you stupid pig, and F12. Joseph. Dude, I told you I was gonna do it. Yeah, I'm just gonna let him off with a warning this time. I'm in a good mood. Stupid pig. Okay, I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that. Did you get your fries, dude? No, Cody stole them from me. What? Yeah, yeah. Me and Cody were waiting in line at McDonald's for the french fries, and Cody was like, I want to go home. I don't want to stand here anymore. And I said, Cody, calm down. I'm about to get my french fries. And then out of nowhere, I start hearing, meow, meow, meow. It was a baby kitten in the middle of the row, and there were cars coming. So I said, Cody, wait right here. I'm going to go save this kitten. And I ran, and Cody was like, no, don't save the kitten. Let it die. And I said, I'm not going to let this kitten die. So I go in the middle of the road. I grab the kitten. I dodge a semi-truck. I dodge another truck. <laughs> and I jump, and I toss the kitten into a pile of feathers. And, then, and the kitten survives. And then I get back in line, and Cody had stolen my french fries. They thought he was the first customer. What a conniving little bastard he is. Yeah, Cody's so Friend, huh? huh? Hey guys, check out my free medium fry for the week, and I didn't even have to pay for it. You know, because it's free. You kitten killer! What? What's he talking about? Cody, how's your medium fry? Oh, they're so good. Hold on, let me just get one. Oh, 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 oh yummy fries. Oh, was it worth the life of a kitten, though? Wait, what? I don't understand this kitten thing. Somebody needs to explain that. Just worry about your stupid french fries, Cody. Yeah, why did you only get one, though? Oh, you didn't tell him? Oh, you don't get unlimited fries. You only get one medium fry a week for a year. Wait, you can't get all the fries? you want? Nope. Huh, gay. Yeah, that's what Junior said. Yeah, just don't worry about your stupid fries, Cody. We don't want to be your friend anymore. Okay, fine. I'll eat my fries, and I'll see you guys next week with my next free medium fry. <sighs> I hate Cody so much. Yeah, I do too. Okay, Joseph, what Lego set should we build now? Um, I'm not sure, dude. Hey, guys. Whoa, that's sick. Cody, what Lego set should we build? Uh, this one, the Pod Racer. <laughs> now, this is Pod Racing. <laughs> you remember he says that in the movie? Wait, I'm confused. That's Anakin Skywalker. Yeah. And that's Padme. Uh-huh. And they get married? Yeah. But he's a little kid. Yeah, I know. It's weird. She's a grown woman. Yeah, it's pretty messed up. How does that work? I, I don't know. It's kind of gross. Wait, where's your free fry? I thought it was Friday. Oh, it is. But I decided to give my free fries this week to my hot date. Ken? No. Oh, it's someone else. Get in here. Hey, guys. What, Penelope? I thought you were dating Ken. Oh, I am. But what? I can't take Penelope on a free medium French fry date? Cody's getting me free French fries. Medium French fries. Can I get a drink, too? <laughs> no, I didn't get free medium drinks every week for a year. But what if my mouth gets dry? Well, you can quench your thirst with a free medium French fry. Okay. You're so lame, Cody. Yeah, well, that may be true, but I have free medium French fries for a year. Come on, babe. Let's go. <sighs> Let's go with this one. Okay, Joseph, what game do you want to play? The Oregon Trail or Cubert? Um, let's see what Oregon's talking about. Hey, guys, happy Friday. You're not getting tired of French fries, Cody? Oh, no, Junior. How could I possibly get tired of these delicious free medium French fries? You can't hate it when it's free. Can I have one? Sure, just for $1 per fry. What, $1 per fry? Why? Well, because I'm selling them, like you said. I'm starting my own potato company or whatever. That only works if you have unlimited French fries. Well, it's kind of like having unlimited, except I only get one medium a week for a year. But that's still a lot of french fries. Well, I'm not gonna buy your stupid french fries, Cody. Why don't you just try to redeem them all at once? I don't think they'd let me do that. Wait, would they let me do that? Wait, hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try that. <sighs> I'll play Cubert. This stupid packaging, Joseph, I can't open it. Yeah, me either, dude. Hey, guys. Did you get all the french fries? No, they told me to read the card, and the card says one free medium order of fries every week up to a year. So I just gotta take it one week at a time. They wouldn't let you get all the fries just right now? Nope, so I'm just gonna have to have one box of medium free fries every week. You're really gonna get it every single week? Yes, I am. Every week, I'm gonna have a box of fries, at least once a week. No, really, I'm really gonna do that. Every single week, I'm going to have a box of fries with me. And if you don't see me with a box of fries at least once a week, then you can yell and scream in the comments and be mad at us. But I'm going to do it. I'm really going to do it. Yeah, we'll see, Cody. What are you doing, baby? I'm making snowflakes with Jeffy. Oh, those look so good. Thank you. How does yours look, Jeffy? Mine look like dick. Well, Jeffy, you made it look like dick. Ah, you said my snowflakes look like dick. Marvin, that's mean. 
mean? No, he literally cut out the word dick on his. And what is this supposed to be? Penises. <laughs> Jeffy! There's someone at the door. I'll get it. Hello? Knock, knock. Hello? What do you mean, hello? I said knock, knock. You're supposed to say who's there. But I already see you. I know who's there. I, I was doing a knock, knock joke. But you rang the doorbell, well, and I, I already opened the door. That's why I said knock, knock. Have you never done a knock, knock joke before? Not at my actual door. Just let me in. You ruined my joke. Who's at the door, Marvin? It was the cop. Shut up, let me tell you the joke. Knock, knock. Who's there? No bell. No bell who? No bell, that's why I knocked. <laughs> but we have a doorbell and he rang it. You keep ruining my jokes. Okay, fine, here's another one. Knock, knock. Who's there? Haywood. Haywood who? Haywood, you blow me. <laughs> <laughs> See, he liked it. Why are you here? Well, it's sad boy hours because I just found out I'm going to jail for 21 days. But you're a cop, you can go to jail? Yeah, surprisingly, cops can break laws too. Yeah, I got a DUI. Again, for the sixth time. And you're gonna go to jail for it? Yeah, they plastered the video of it all over the news. So whatever you do, please don't watch the news. Baby, turn on the news. Aw. Breaking news, okay? A police officer was arrested for a DUI and thought he was above the law. We have the shocking body cam footage here. <laughs> shit, shit. Hey, mate, you been drinking tonight? Hey, you, you can't pull me over, okay? I'm a cop. I pull people over, not you. How much have you had to drink tonight? I, I have only had six beers, but they come in a pack of six. So basically one, so you can't arrest me. Ugh, you're not making this easy on me, mate. You know my body cam's on. Oh, the body cam. Where, where was your body cam? Is that it? Hey, body cam. Fuck you, okay? I do what I want. I'm a bubble. <laughs> oh, man, you know I'm gonna have to place you under arrest. Go ahead and step out of the vehicle. I'm gonna run. Please don't. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Here I go. No, no, no. Uh, Mate, you're not going anywhere. You know the car's in park. Shit. Yeah, well, you're under arrest. I guess you got me. Oh, wow. You were ugly, disgusting drunk. Yeah, well, your snowflake looks like dick. <laughs> you said my snowflake looks like dick. <laughs> It was his snowflake, not mine. Oh, oh my god, I'm so sorry. Your joke's not funny anymore. Aw, now we're all sad. So why are you here telling us you're going to jail? Well, there is a problem, because I mean, this is a video after all. So the judge sentenced me to 21 days in jail, and he gave me this go to jail card. See, it says go to jail, go directly to jail, do not pass go, do not collect any cash. So I've been suspended without pay, and I have to report to jail tomorrow. Of course, I already told my wife I had to go to jail today. My problem is, I'm going to be in jail on Christmas, and now I'm worried I might not get any presents from Santa. So I was thinking I could spend the night here and maybe go up to the North Pole and try to trick Santa into thinking Christmas is tonight so I can get my presents early. But won't you be on the naughty list because of the DUIs? Oh, I don't think Santa cares about some DUIs. I mean, the song says you better not pout, you better not cry, not you better not get a DUI. But it also says be good for goodness sake and DUIs are bad. Hmm. Well, that's why when I'm in the North Pole, I can put my name on the nice list. You're not sad that you're not going to see your wife or daughter on Christmas? Hell no. I suck at giving gifts anyway. I'm only good at receiving them. Like oral. Yeah, last year I gave my daughter a Blu-ray copy of the movie Zephora because she wanted Sephora, you know, like the makeup, and I got confused. So on Christmas, we all sat around watching Zephora. And we were all really disappointed, both by the movie and my mistake. And I also gave my wife some pretty bad pop. Oh, so you have to go to the North Pole? Well, I wanted you to come with me. Oh, can I go? Yeah, sure, the more the merrier. Everybody can come. Can I come? No! Fuck you! Come on, guys, let's go. Okay. Here you go, Santa. Huh? I brought you your milk and cookies for dinner. Oh, thanks, Pepper. Where's my chocolate chip cookies? Well, this is Oreos. It's milk's favorite cookie. It's not my favorite. And what the hell is this? 2% reduced fat? Well, you've been gaining a lot of weight, Santa. I know I've been gaining some weight, and plus, you know I'm lactose intolerant. <laughs> oh, good one, Santa. Pepper, you're a weird little fucker, but I like you. Santa, it's time to check your list. Oh, I hate checking the list. But Santa, you gotta check it twice. Okay. It's all there. Santa, you gotta check it twice! Okay! Santa, you didn't really check it! Is that better? You didn't look! I'm having my milk and cookies. But Santa, the lettuce from the children came in for Christmas. The deadline's already passed. They're gonna get what they get. Can I have a cookie, Santa? 
Oh, sure, Pepper. Go ahead. Thank you. Oh, the darn thing's stuck. I hate when it gets stuck. I don't want to rip it, because then the cookies will go stale. I almost got it. Hold on. Sorry, Santa. Come on, Pepper, hurry up. Oh, I think I'm getting it. It's coming along. All right, time's up, Pepper. Aww. Wow, Santa, you're so strong. Look, there's Santa. He's eating his milk and cookies. And look, there's the Naughty or Nice book. Now I just need somebody to distract him while I check and see if my name is on the nice list. If not, I'll add it. How are we going to distract Santa Claus? I got an idea. Pepper, these cookies taste like shit. I think they're expired. No, I just put one in my ass. You just got the wrong cookie. Pepper, you're a weird little fucker, but I like you. Hey, Santa, I just subscribed to Mrs. Claus's OnlyFans. What? Let me see that. Come on, elves. Yeah. Quick, Marvin, pass me the book. Here you go. Let me see. Uh, let me check Naughty first. Oh, no, I'm right there. I'm number four. Wait a minute. I'm on the naughty list, too? No, Marvin, we didn't come here to fix yours. You still have until Christmas to be nice. I'm going to jail. Hold on, let me just scratch this out. Okay, now I gotta put it in nice. Okay, I'm gonna be the lookout. Okay, I added my name to the nice list. Well, actually, I spelled my name wrong the first time, because I'm dyslexic. But now all we have to do is convince Santa that tonight is Christmas, so he delivers my presents. Hey! Jumper, Marvin! What, jump her? Yes, get her! <laughs> Marvin, why the hell are you wearing that elf suit? I was thinking that I could dress like an elf and tell Santa that tonight's Christmas and he'll believe me. Oh, good idea, Marvin. Wish I thought of that. Oh, shit, he's coming. I'll hide under the table. Oh, I can't believe Mrs. Claus created an OnlyFans page and only charging four bucks to see pictures of her hoo-ha. You can get a four for four at Wendy's for that. Probably tastes better and a little less fishy. Ha ha ha, funny, Santa. Where's your glasses, Pepper? Uh, oh, I, I I dropped them on the ground. Oh. Well, hopefully you didn't stick this one in your ass, too. What? No, oh, I, nope, not that one. Oh, I hope so. Well, tonight's Christmas. What? Yeah, like, like tonight's Christmas, like tonight's the night you have to go deliver the presents. But the reindeer are not even ready, and Rudolph's getting neutered, and he's got balls big as shit. Well, I guess you gotta deliver the presents without Rudolph. Well, I guess so. Watch out, New York City! Okay. <laughs> Let me get in the sleigh. Good idea, Marvin. Let's get back home. I didn't know Santa made 9 11 jokes. What are you doing, Santa? Loading the gifts on the sleigh to deliver tonight. Santa, are you feeling okay? Christmas isn't for another two weeks. But you told me Christmas was tonight. I did not. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Peppermint, don't lie to me. Cause I'll bend you over my knee and spank you. Ugh, I wish I lied to you, Santa, but I didn't. Well, who did? I don't know. Let me check the security cameras. Oh, it looks like some guy broke in and wrote his name with your book. What? Brooklyn? And he added it to the nice list? I'm gonna teach him a lesson. Oh, teach me a lesson, Santa. Bend me over and spank me like a naughty schoolboy. Peppermint, you're a naughty fucker, but I love you. Oh my god, Marvin, I can't believe that actually worked! It did? Yeah, I put my name in the nice list, so now Santa's gonna come deliver presents tonight! Hey, do you guys have any pajamas? I'm just so excited, I wanna go to sleep right now so Santa comes. Why do you need pajamas? Well, I don't wanna sleep in my cop uniform, I gotta sleep in something loose, cause I get raging morning wood and it hurts. Oh, I don't think I have pajamas that are your size. What size is that? Fat? No, I wasn't calling you fat, I just don't know if we're the same size. What were you calling me then? I, I wasn't calling you anything. Yeah, okay. Well, you can make it up to me by spooning me. I'm not gonna spoon you. Well, I was gonna be the big spoon. Oh, okay. Yeah. What? Ugh, good night. Good night. Get over here. Think you can go to bed all caked up like I ain't got a sweet tooth? Like I ain't trying to get a cavity? What you thought this was, man? What? Nothing, just kidding. <laughs> what are you doing? What, you hear that? I think that's Santa Claus. It does sound like Santa Claus. Let's go check. Oh, Marvin, look at that. It's Santa Claus. And look at all those presents. They're all for me. Well, actually, he thinks it's Christmas, so those presents are for everyone. Oh, yeah. Well, most of them have got to be for me because I'm on the nice list. But you're not, so you're not getting any presents. I forgot I'm on the naughty list. Man, he is really taking a sweet time with those presents, huh? Well, he's got a fat dumpy, though. Oh, no, he's just scratching his ass. Hmm. Hurry up! <laughs> 
So oh, he's gone. Okay, present time. No, oh, look at all these presents. Oh, this big one has to be for me. No, it's not for you. And what about these down here? No, none of these are for you either. And where are my presents? Oh, uh, look, this one says Brooklyn guy. Mine, back off. Oh, I can't wait to see what it is. It could be anything. I had so many things on my list. It could be an Applebee's gift card. It could be a Denny's gift card. <gasps> a Chili's gift card. Or maybe it's a weighted blanket so I feel trapped yet comfortable. Oh, and I gotta check. Oh, let me see, let me see, let me see. What? Coal? Why did he give you coal? I don't know. How is this possible? I put my name on the nice list. Uh, look behind you. Oh, 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 you, oh, well, now I guess I know what they mean when they say he knows if you've been bad or good. I guess he found out I put my name on the nice list. It's well, I guess, be okay. I guess I'll go to jail sad now. Well, I have a gift for you. Yeah, what is it? Wait, what's that? What? A get out of jail free card? Marvin, this is the best Christmas gift of all. Not going to prison. Hey Danny, can we play Doo Doo Kangaroo? What's Doo Doo Kangaroo? It's where the kangaroo takes a dump and you collect it. There's no way that's a board game, Jeffy. Yeah, it's really fun. No, we're not playing that. We're going to watch a movie. Hey, Marvin. I think the batteries in the remote aren't working. Oh, darn. Now we get to play Doom Doom Kangaroo. No, Jeffy. We're going to go to Target and buy some more batteries. Yeah, it's probably a good idea because Doo Doo Kangaroo requires batteries, too. Three double A's. Come on, Jeffy. We're going to Target. Oh, Danny, Danny, Danny. Can I get Steve from Minecraft? No, Jeffy. Can I get the bees from Minecraft? No, Jeffy. Can I get Steve dressed like a bee from Minecraft? No, Jeffy. We only came to get batteries. Well, what about the sword? No, come on. Let's go. Aww. All right, Jeffy, get in the car. All right. Hold on there, loss prevention. What's the problem, officer? Your son stole something from Target. No, I didn't. What'd you steal, Jeffy? Nothing. Okay, then what's under your shirt? Nothing, I'm just fat. Let me see. I ain't trying to touch my wiener! Aha, uh -huh. Steve from Minecraft. Jeffy, you stole Steve from Minecraft. Well, you wouldn't buy it for me. I am so sorry, officer. If we go inside, I'll pay for it right now. No, nope, he's going to jail. Going to jail? Yeah, he's an adult. You're under arrest for shoplifting. Fuck, daddy, the streets are hard out here for a pimp. P.O.P., hold it down. Mama, I love you. Order, 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 order. Wait a minute. Who replaced my gavel with a tiny one? Where is my gavel? <laughs> gotcha. Here you go, sir. I thought it was funny. Hmm. Yes, I guess. Don't do it again. Order, 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 order. I am the Honorable Judge Pooh Bear, and today we will be hearing the case of Jeffy, who is being charged with stealing a... Steve from Minecraft toy from Target. Uh, Bailiff, may I see this stolen Minecraft toy? Yeah, I'll grab it from the evidence room, sir. Here you go. Ooh, Steve from Minecraft. Oh, this is so cool. Ooh. Uh, I, I'm going to need to open this to see how fun it is to play with, to see how serious the charge should be. So, Jeffy, you can go ahead and explain what happened. I wanted a Steve from Minecraft toy from Target, but my daddy wouldn't buy it for me, so I stole it. I'm sorry, Judge. Please don't send me to jail. Ah, take that, Ender Dragon. <laughs> this toy is very fun and worth every penny, so I'm not going to go easy on you. I think it's time you got a taste of your own medicine. I sentence you- ah, fuck that bitch! Ah, holy shit, Judge! Check and get off him! I am the very much still in pain, Judge Pooper. And today, we will be hearing the case of the fucking asshole Jeffy who brutally attacked me and gave me a bloody nose and a black eye. Jeffy, fuck you. I was only going to give you six months of probation, but ho ho ho, you ruined that. Sorry for letting him attack you, Judge. I just didn't expect him to do that. But don't worry, he's handcuffed and tied up now, so that shouldn't be happening again. I'm just gonna check my emails. I'm sorry, Judge. I just get angry sometimes. Please don't send me to jail. Oh no, you're not going to jail. You're going to prison. I sentence you to ten- No, fuck that bitch! You're not getting out of us! That's almost a noise. Oh shit, not again! Order, order, order. 
Jeffy beat the shit out of me again. What the fuck were you guys doing? Why can't you stop him? I am so sorry, Judge. That will never happen again. We have another officer here now, and he's wearing chains and a mask. Yeah, he better have a mask on. He bit my forehead. He gave me a broken arm, a broken neck, and a broken nose. Jeffy, what the hell is wrong with you? I'm sorry, Judge. You just keep making me really angry. Please don't send me to jail. Oh, you're going to be buried under the jail. You are a menace to society if you do this to people. I sentence you to death. No, fuck that. Not again. Not again. Oh. Simmons, why did you grab him? Sorry, mate. He was just so quick. Come on, let's get him. Order, 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 order. I am the Honorable Judge Anthony. Judge Booba has been murdered by Jeffy. So, Jeffy, I'm going to sentence you to the most cruel and unusual punishment. Death by a million fire ant bites. How is that even possible? Get the phone, get the phone. I got the batteries. Oh, Marvin, you didn't have to get those. I found some batteries in the kitchen. <sighs> wow. Where's Jeffy? He got arrested for shoplifting. Shoplifting? Why? He stole a $10 Minecraft toy that I wouldn't buy him. Marvin, why wouldn't you buy it for him? You know he can't help himself. Don't you blame me for this. Jeffy should know not to steal. Well, how long is he going to be in jail for? He's not going to get any jail time. They're probably just going to give him probation. <gasps> Marvin, look the news! Breaking news, McKay. A 19-year-old man named Jeffy has killed two judges in the courtroom. He is to be executed later tonight. Jeffy killed two judges? There's no way. This has to be some kind of prank. Hey there. Hey, officer. We just saw in the news that Jeffy killed two judges. Oh, yeah, he did. He even killed one of them through the phone. It was pretty impressive. What? Are you serious? Oh, yeah, I saw him do it. But don't worry. He's not going to be killing anyone ever again, especially not because he's going to be executed tonight by a million fire ants. A million fire ants? Oh, yeah, they're being flown in specially from Madagascar. You know that place where the lion and the zebra played by Ben Stiller and Chris Rock like to move it, move it with the lemurs? That place. Oh, where is Jeffy at right now? Oh, he's locked away in the most ultimate super max, ultra max, Michelob ultra, big mac, knick knack, paddy wag, give a dog a maximum security prison jail. Okay, no, seriously, take me to Jeffy right now. I need to talk to him. I don't think you understand. Let me explain in great detail exactly how hard it would be for you to get there and exactly where he is with this pretty little animation. So, Jeffy is handcuffed, put in a straight jacket, tied up with ropes and chains with a blindfold on, and his mouth is duct taped. And then he's put in a coffin, which is also chained up in a biometric heat sensitive chamber where the oxygen levels will drop so low that it keeps him alive, but his muscles are not oxygenated enough to move. Then, that chamber is dropped into a safe with plasma lasers, pressure plates, and landmines, so if he got out, the lasers would cut him into pieces like a lightsaber, and the mines would blow him up. Then, that safe is put on top of a castle in the highest room of the tallest tower like in Shrek, and the castle is guarded by a dragon that f***s donkeys. That castle is then dropped into the bottom of the Marianas Trench, which is the deepest place known to man, and the castle is then surrounded by great white megalodon sharks with lasers laser beams and heat-seeking rocket launchers on their heads. Then above the sharks is a giant squid that's been trained specifically to eat Jeffy. So even if he got past all the rest of that, he'd have to get past the squid. And then above the squid is James Cameron in a submarine with an IMAX camera filming the whole thing. So if Jeffy escapes, James Cameron can let us know and make a sick-ass movie out of it. And then above him is a military submarine with a nuclear torpedo pointed at him. So if Jeffy gets past James Cameron, they'll blow him up. And then above that is three aircraft carriers carrying F-22 Raptors, which are the coolest fucking jets ever, in my opinion. Are you serious? Oh, I am very serious. It can go up to 1,500 miles per hour. That means it could fly from L.A. to New York in just under two hours. I mean, yeah, it would have to refuel somewhere over Colorado, but don't worry, because it can refuel in midair. And it can pull up to nine Gs. That's more Gs than lasagna and bologna combined. Both of those words have Gs in them. Why? What are we talking about? I'm talking about the F-22 Raptor, the coolest jet ever made. I want to talk about Jeffy. Fine. Yeah, we can talk about Jeffy, sure. I mean, the F-22 Raptor is way cooler than Jeffy. I mean, it's not like it's the most expensive jet ever made. I mean, it's not like it only costs $150 million per plane with an operating cost of $68,000 per hour, but I'm sure you already knew that. Is Jeffy really in that maximum security prison? Oh, yeah. He's never getting out. Actually, now that I think about it, I'm not really sure how we're going to get all those fire ants in there. We might have to funnel them in with a straw or something. Oh, hold on. I'm getting a call. Oh, it's James Cameron. Hey, Cam with the Cam. Damn, what's up? What? He what? No, come on. What about the sharks with the lasers and the rocket launchers and the giant squid? 
Really? Well, what about the submarine and the torpedo? Yeah, okay, but what about the donkey fucking dragon? It drowned? Oh, yeah, I guess that does make sense. Yeah, okay. But, but what about the F-22 Raptors, though? No, really? Well, tell me at least you got it all on camera. No, James, you didn't. Come on. Ugh. Jeffy escaped. Well, he escaped? How? I don't know. James Cameron said he recorded the whole thing and it was the coolest, most James Bond, Tom Cruise shit he's ever seen, but his memory card got corrupted because he didn't eject it properly and he lost the whole thing. Oh, so where's Jeff yet now? I don't know, but I'm not going to catch him. Not with my no legs. If only I had an F-22 Raptor with all the options in the fishing package. Dang, 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 help me! You have no idea what I had to do to escape that place! Please tell me, I have to know how you got out of there. Shrek and Donkey saved me! Oh, I didn't think about Shrek and Donkey. Yeah, Shrek said, yeah, you're coming with me. And Donkey said, all right, parfaits. You ever had a parfait before? You ever meet somebody, you say, let's go get some parfaits? They say, hell no, I want no parfaits. And then Donkey went and fucked the dragon. And then Shrek grabbed me, and then sharded so hard it propelled me through all my entrapments all the way up to the surface. And I got back here. Well, you're back under arrest. Fuck. What? Jeffy, did you really kill a judge? You were only gonna get probation. Well, sometimes my brain don't work right. And that's why you're gonna be executed by a million fire ants. Wait, are you sure he really killed the judge? Yeah, I saw it with my own eyes. Well, because I see Judge Pooby right there. No, don't look at me. I'm not here. Wait, Judge Pooby? I thought you died. No, me and Judge Anthony paid Jeffy to beat us up and pretend to kill us so we could go to Disney World. Wait, so Judge Anthony's still alive too? Yes, and I'm right here. Wow, so I guess the only thing you're guilty of is shoplifting. And I'm really sorry. Well, that's good enough for me. You guys want to talk about F-22 Raptors? Did you know that the F-22 Raptor... want to do today? Junior, there's this new TV show called Blue's Clues, and we have to watch it. It's about this blue dog that, like, solves crimes, and there's this guy who can jump inside paintings, and he can talk to food seasonings, and sometimes he even gets mail and he can talk to it. That's not a real show. Junior, I promise it is. Well, I want to watch it. Uh, help me find the remote. Okay. Where's the TV remote at? Where is it? What? Mm. Junior, the TV's turning off and on. Oh, I got what? It. Why is it doing that? Is my house possessed by ghosts? Oh, dude, I'm scared. Oh, 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 oh no, there's a ghost in the house. Yeah, that's strange. It's day. Wait, wait, stop. I'm writing a letter wait, to Okay, well, maybe it was just a glitch in the TV. Yeah. Alright, I'll find the remote. What? Wait, 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 look, now the volume's going out. What? It has to be a ghost! Wait, 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 Jeffy, is there a remote in your pants? No, I'm just rocking a full solid right now. Some people tuck it in their waistband, but I tuck mine in my collar. Wait, hold on. It is in your pants, Jeffy! Oh, honest mistake. I thought it was something else. <laughs> Alright, Cody, I'm gonna switch to the channels. Tell me when you find the show. Okay. Ooh, wait, Junior, the news! Breaking news, okay? Floyd Mayweather has made $100 million fighting Logan Paul. What? That guy got $100 million just to fight someone? I'll fight someone for $100 million. Dude, I'll punch Cody for $100 million. I'll punch Cody for $100 million. Yeah. <laughs> Where's my hundred million dollars? Where's my hundred million dollars? Yeah, that's like three hundred million dollars right there. Guys, nobody is gonna pay you a hundred million dollars just to hit me. Well, that guy got a hundred million dollars to hit someone. Well, that's because he's a professional boxer and he won fifty times. I'll fight fifty people for a hundred million dollars. Yeah, yeah, so so if I record Jeffy fighting fifty people, will he get a hundred million dollars? No, because he's not a boxer. Well, the Paul guy's not a boxer. He got money. Oh, well, I guess that's true. Wait, so so if I record Jeffy knocking out fifty people, they'll give us a hundred million dollars. Well, I mean, if you show him the video, he might accept a fight. Oh, okay. Okay, so uh, Jeffy, I'm gonna grab my phone and I'm gonna record you knocking out 50 people. All right, let's do it. All right, guys, I got my phone. Jeffy, you ready to knock some people out? Yeah, let's do it. Who's he gonna knock out first, Junior? Uh, Joseph, you up first. Wait, why me? I don't wanna get knocked out. Because, Joseph, we have to knock out 50 people. That's a lot of people. And plus, Jeffy's gonna split the money, right? Yeah, because you guys are helping me. That's a $100 million split four ways. That's $25 million. You're saying you're not gonna get knocked out for $25 million? <sighs> I guess. All right, so I want you and Jeffy to fight, all right? <laughs> Round one, fight. <laughs> Oh! Oh, you got knocked out! Oh, how's it feel to win? Oh, it feels great! First round TKO, totally called it. Oh, yeah, you're gonna fight someone else next. Oh, yeah. All right, we're gonna go fight Chef Peepy, all right? All right, let's do it. Oh, my God, this looks so good. Oh, I think it's missing a few more goldfish. Hey, Chef Peepy. Junior, why are you recording me? <laughs> oh, oh, he's out! Oh, he's out! Oh, oh, how's it feel to win again? Feels great, totally called it. Two times in a row, two KOs. Yeah, 
Two and oh, two and oh. Oh, how'd you feel about that? It didn't really seem fair. He didn't even see it coming. You gotta watch out for that left hook. It's really powerful. But while you're cooking? Yep, even while you're cooking. The first rule of boxing is always be prepared. Well, who's, who's he gonna knock out now, Junior? Uh, call your parents. Well, I'm not letting him knock out my parents. You're not gonna be letting him knock out your parents. It's up to you if your parents can fight or not. Well, my mom is pretty scrappy. Look, call your parents, and we're gonna knock him out right at the door. He can get two in one fight. Okay. Uh, hello? Hey there, Cody said we should come over. Hey, you recording us? Cause I don't consent. I gotta warn. Oh, I've always wanted to be on television. Hello, world. My name is Judy. I'm single. What'd you say, woman? All right, Jeffy, go, go, go. Ding, ding. <laughs> Ain't nobody can hit my woman but me. Ding, ding. <laughs> oh, 4-0. 4-0. Oh, 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 I defeated. Woo! I defeated. Woo! Jeffy, how's it feel to be 4-0 undefeated? Amazing, Junior! Uh, are my parents okay? I didn't want to watch. Oh, they drop like flies. Uh, well, can we at least knock out your parents now? Or at least your dad, since you don't have a mom? Cody, trust me. If I had a mom, I'd knock her out for $25 million. Well, Junior, do you really think it's worth all the money to give 50 people brain damage? Yeah. It's $25 million, Cody. All right, Jeffy, you're going to knock out my dad next, okay? All right, let's do it. All right, let's go. <laughs> Charlie and Friends was filmed in front of a live audience. Oh, hi guys, I'm Charlie, and today, I'm getting high! <laughs> look guys, look at how high I am! <laughs> oh, Charlie, you're so funny! Alright, Jeffy, there's my dad in bed. I want you to put him to sleep. You want me to read him a bedtime story first? Yeah, read him the three little pigs. Alright. Well, the first little piggy built his house out of straw. And the second little piggy built his house out of bricks. And the third little piggy just hired me to stand outside of his house. Man, what are you guys doing in here? Ah! Oh! 5 and 0! Oh! 5 and 0! Oh! Undefeated champion! Undefeated! Oh! Woo! 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 Did he knock out your dad? Oh, yeah, he put him to sleep. Dad, night, night. <laughs> He gave him that one piece with no honey mustard. No biscuit, no drink, he got ripped off. Well, who are you gonna knock out next? Anyone who steps in front of me? Well, well, Jeffy, you kind of been knocking out nobodies. Nobody's gonna think you're a real fighter. You need to knock out like a celebrity, somebody that everybody knows. But what celebrity is gonna let you knock him out? Uh, my dad was watching Charlie and Friends. What if he knocks out Charlie from Charlie and Friends? What, you really think he'd let you do that? Yeah, we just gotta find him. Well, I'm pretty sure he records his episodes in your house, so let's just go downstairs and get him. All right, yeah, let's do that. <laughs> All right, Jeffy, you're about to do your first celebrity boxing match. How do you feel? Feeling good, Junior. About to go 6-0. and oh. How are you feeling? Oh, hi, guys. I'm Charlie. Where's the crowd from? Wait, why do you have a box? Oh, I thought we were boxing. <laughs> All right, guys. And fight! Uh-oh. No, you just knocked out Charlie and friends. Well, he knocked out Charlie, not all his friends. Oh, Jeffy, you should have knocked out all of Charlie's friends. That would have been a lot of people. Oh, man. Well, who are you going to knock out now, Jeffy? Hmm. Well, we haven't knocked out my mommy and daddy yet. Oh, yeah, let's go fight your mom and dad. Well, let's do it. Th these aren't really fights. He's just kind of hitting people. It doesn't matter. He's undefeated. They can always hit him back. They're choosing not to fight back. Come on. Marvin, didn't I do a good job making dinner tonight? Yep, you did a really good job putting these pizza rolls in the oven for 15 minutes. Oh, thank you. Jeffy, time for dinner. Wait, Jeffy, why do you have boxing gloves on? Ding, ding, pow. What? Jeffy, you can't hit her like that. Ding, ding, pow. Ah! Woo! Woo! Jeffy is now 8 no. Who can beat me? Who can beat me? I don't know, maybe somebody who can actually fight back? Well, Cody, you just sound jealous. Look, we only have to knock out 42 more people. What, what, before he gets life in jail? No, before he can fight Floyd Mayweather and get us $100 million. Well, Junior, there's no way we can show him knocking out 42 more people. That would take like an hour. Oh, you're right. We need a montage. It's montage time! How many people did he knock out, Junior? I think he's 31 and 0. Oh great, he only needs 19 more. Jeffy, huh? do it. Okay. <clears throat> Ow! Do you give up? Yes! Oh, 32 and 0! <sighs> oh, great, now you only need 18 more. Where are we gonna find 18 more people to knock out? Breaking news, okay? There is a crazy lunatic that is running around and punching people in the face. If you see this man, call 911 immediately. Oh. Ugh. 
Ugh, 33 and no. Oh my god, Jeffy. Now you only need 17 more and you can fight Floyd Mayweather. Wait, Junior, didn't you see the news? He's wanted by the police. You have to stop this. Well, no, we just have a few more and we can fight Floyd Mayweather for $100 million. Junior, that's not going to happen. Uh, there's someone at the door. <gasps> Jeffy, come on. It might be Floyd Mayweather. You can knock him out. It's okay. not Floyd... Hello, Floyd Mayweather? Yeah, I'm looking for Jeffy. Oh, no, it's the cops, Junior! Oh, you can't arrest us now, we're so close! Okay, so he is the one who's been knocking people out. Yeah, but it's for a good reason, don't arrest us. Oh, I'm not here to arrest you, I'm here to thank you. See, one of the people he knocked out happened to be my wife, and I've been wanting to do that for years. God, she is so annoying. But, uh, why did you knock out my wife? Uh, well, because we want to fight Floyd Mayweather and be like him. Oh, well, I guess that's one way to do it. I mean, he knocked out his wife, and now he's got millions of dollars. Exactly! So we thought if we could knock out 50 people on camera, Floyd Mayweather would fight us for $100 million. Oh, well, I mean, if you need to knock out somebody else, uh, if I get knocked out on duty, I get to go home, and I get a purple heart. So, uh, so Jeffy can knock you out? Yeah, sure. Why right, do it, Jeffy. All right, sweet. <laughs> ah! 34 no! 34 no! Who was at the door, Junior? Was it Floyd Mayweather? No, it was a cop, and Jeffy knocked him out! He did what? Okay, Junior, this has gone too far. I don't want to be a part of this anymore. You have to be a part of it. You're next to be knocked out. Wait, no, I already got hit. Well, well, you have glasses, so you're like two, you have two sets of eyes, so you count as two people. What? No, no, Junior, it's your turn to get knocked out. But that's gonna hurt. I don't want to get hit. Well, yeah, of course it's gonna hurt, Junior, but you have to do it. Uh, no, um, I can find 16 more people. Um, where can I find 16 more people? Uh... Mm. Oh, the people watching this video. Oh, oh, yeah. You can knock them out. All right, guys, everyone at home, put your nose up against the glass, okay, of your phone, of the TV, or the computer, whatever your watch is on. Put, put your nose up against the glass, and Jeffy's about to knock you out. All right. <clears throat> oh! You just oh! got knocked out. You just got oh! knocked out. That's like a million and oh. Like, like, that's like a million or two million and oh. However many views this video got, that's how many people Jeffy just knocked out. Oh, yeah, Junior. And if you hit the like button, that means you just got back up and it didn't hurt and you're awesome and you have a lot of friends. But if you hit the dislike button, it means you have no friends. Yeah, if you hit the dislike button, that means you got knocked out and you have no friends. And you're and, not cool. And you're not cool. So if you hit the dislike button, um, you're dumb. But if you hit the like button, that means you got back up and you said that didn't hurt at all, right? Oh, yeah, for sure, Junior. Yeah, yeah. So um, I think we have all the proof we need to fight Floyd Mayweather. So, so let's call Steve Staleberger and get this fight set up and show him, show him all the footage I got. Well, let's do it. Hello? Hello, it's me, Steve Staleberger. Oh. Maybe he'll get up soon, Jeffy. Oh. That was some hit, kid. Ow. What, Jeffy? You're not supposed to hit him again. Now it's going to take forever for him to wake up. Oh. 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 Those, those were some hit, kid. Oh. So why'd you call me? Well, me and Jeffy went around and I recorded him knocking out as many people as I could. He knocked out like 30 people on camera, but then he knocked out a million people around the world. He knocked out a million people? Yep, and he's never been defeated, so we want to fight Floyd Mayweather for $100 million. Hmm, well, Floyd Mayweather's retired. What, retired? Why? Well, he just did his last fight, so he's done. Yesterday's <laughs> news. Well, then who can we fight for $100 million? Well, you could fight D-Money. He's never lost. Oh, Jeffy could definitely knock him out, right? Yeah. Oh, I can take D-Money. Okay, but I have to warn you. D-Money has knocked out more people than just an unexpecting old man on your front doorstep. Well, it doesn't matter. Jeffy can knock out anyone. I've seen him knock out a lot of people. Okay, I'll set it up for tonight. And whoever wins gets $100 million. Oh, my God. Jeffy, you're about to fight D-Money for $100 million. Yeah. Woo! $100 oh, million. Yeah. Hello, and welcome to Living Room Boxing. We couldn't get a boxing ring on such short notice, so we're doing it in the living room. In the left corner, my left, we have, with a record of 65 and 0, weighing at 180 pounds, D-Money. Oh, 65 and 0, 65 and 0, undefeated champion of the world, 100 million every fight, 100 million every night. In the right corner, my right, we have, with a record of two million and no, weighing at 110 pounds, Jeffy! Um, my balls itch, and I can't itch them with these gloves. All right, boxers, please meet in the middle of the living room. All right, gentlemen, we're going to have infinite rounds until somebody gets knocked out because that's what the world wants to see. All right, get ready, gentlemen. One, two, three, go! All right, man, you ready to go? Let's go, man. Ooh, oh, look at you. You're about to get knocked out, too. Ooh, 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 just got you four times. Ooh, 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 again. You ain't want this. Ooh, 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 ooh. come on, man. Fight back. What you doing? Oh, man, stop trying to hook me, man. Get on, get on man. Let's go. Oh, oh, what you doing? Ooh, where, where am I going? 
I'm over here. Oh, look at you right there. Oh, I'll stop me. Stop trying to hug me, man. Oh, yeah, man. You're trying to kiss me? Oh, 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 oh. Man, I'm getting tired. Oh, God. I can't believe what I'm seeing here, folks. Jeffy just defeated the undefeated, well, now defeated, D-Money. How's it feel, kid? You know, it feels great. Yeah, kind of warm out in the beginning. I uh, had, to, had to throw up some blocks. And then, uh, then I kissed him. He wasn't expecting that. So I felt like I got the upper hand on that one. And then uh, I finished him off with a strong uppercut in the end. And there he is. Well, Jeffy, you just won a hundred million dollars. Oh, yeah, that feels good, too. But uh, taxes suck, so that's probably going to eat about half of that. But we'll be all right. Woo! Jeffy won a hundred million dollars. This is totally worth it. Woo! I'm just going to lay on my money all day. You mean my money? What, what are you doing here? Remember when he punched me in the face on the news? Uh, yeah. Well, my face is insured for over a hundred million dollars. So I'm suing you for a hundred million dollars. Oh man, we're gonna lose all this money that Jeffy just won. We just have to fight 50 more people so we can win this money again. Ooh, ooh, <gasps> Jeffy, they're still watching. Punch him in the face so we can win the money. All right. What do you want to do today? You guys want to watch Impractical Jokers? What's Impractical Jokers? You've never seen Impractical Jokers? No, what is it? It's a show where you see scenes of graphic stupidity among three lifelong friends who compete to embarrass each other. That sounds silly. Impractically silly. We should watch it! Yeah, let's watch it! Okay. <laughs> Guys, today we're at Red Lobster and we're gonna be pranking some unsuspecting customers. If you refuse to do the challenge, you're eliminated! <laughs> Hello, welcome to Red Lobster. What can I get you to eat? Uh, I don't know. Hey Tito, before he orders, you should blow a bicycle horn in his face. Yeah, in his face. <laughs> How about, uh... Uh, I want to order a... <laughs> keep going! 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 Keep Forget it. I, I might as well try it. Yeah. Who don't like chicken? All right, Tito, now call him the N word. Do it. I never back down from a challenge. Man, I never lose. You killed it. All right, man, your turn. You got this. You got this. You got this. You got this. <laughs> Hey, thank you for choosing Red Lobster. What can I get you guys to eat? <laughs> Give him a knuckle sandwich. Yeah, punch him in the face. Maybe a knuckle sandwich. Pride was in June. <laughs> yeah, yeah, do it, do it. <laughs> We don't have any specials for you because Gay Pride Month was in June. <laughs> yeah! Yeah, he did it! He did it! <laughs> you did it, man! You did it! <laughs> Your turn, Murr. Okay, but you guys better not make me do anything stupid. Get in there, Let's go! Hey there, welcome to Red Lobster. What can I get you two to eat? What would you recommend? Murr, Murr, Murr. Tell them that you would recommend the fish. But they already smell like fish like <laughs> vagina! <laughs> well, uh, I, um, <laughs> I'd recommend the fish, but it, uh, it already smells like that over here. <laughs> <laughs> he did it! I can't believe it! Mer, 
pull out a magnifying glass and look at their boobs and ask them what size they are. <laughs> What size are those? Are those B cups? Uh, oh my gosh. <laughs> now ask them. Now ask them to get naked. Grab them. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I wasn't gonna do that. No, 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 there's no way. Yeah, we know. So it looks like you're the biggest loser. <laughs> Let's go to your punishment. Oh, okay. That's one thumbs down for Murr. That means Murr's today's biggest loser. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we're here today for Murr's big punishment. And we are in someone's front yard. And we see a pile of dog. <laughs> now, Murr, what do you think we want you to do with that dog? <laughs> Pick it up. <laughs> To lick it. What? You're gonna lick that dog. I'm not licking that. Come on, Mur. If you don't, you will get kicked out of the show. Just yeah. like Joe. You don't wanna be like Joe, right? No. What about your wife and kids? I do need the money. <laughs> no! You know what would be funny, guys? What if we pull pranks on people like they do? But I don't want to get in trouble. They don't get in trouble. Well, they're adults with a full production crew. That might even be fake. Well, what if we prank Chef Pee, -Pee so we don't get in trouble? Because he's not a stranger. Yeah, I guess you're right. All right, so how about we all pull a prank on Chef Pee, -Pee and whoever refuses to do the prank is the biggest loser. Okay. All right, so who wants to go first? Oh, I want to go first. Okay, what type of prank should Jeffy do on Chef Pee, -Pee? Ooh, ooh, you should put this fake dog shit in whatever he's cooking. <gasps> That'd be so funny because Chef Pee, -Pee would be like, ew, there's poop in my food. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna do it. All right. Wait, he, he forgot the fake dog shit. Mm-mm-mm, mm, cooking some fried chicken. Oh, it smells so good. Wait, wait, I forgot the seasoning. Fake dog shit still right here. Oh, I shit for real. All right, who the hell did it? Tell me who did it. Who shit on my chicken? Uh, not me. Uh, not me. I know what are you press a freaking line. Somebody shit on my chicken. I was gonna eat that delicious ass chicken. Uh, no one, no one shit on your chicken. Oh, yeah. oh Lord. Wait, wait. Cody, tell me something. Yeah, sure, anything, buddy. Yeah, yeah. I need to know something. Yeah. Why is there a fake shit right by your foot? Oh, that that's a fake. Shit. You're you're talking about a real shit, right? Yeah, real poopy, stinky ass. Shit. Yeah, well, all I have is fake shit. Yeah, all we have is fake shit up here. We don't want no one real shit up yeah. here. Oh, I swear to God, I know you brats are lying, and if I find out one of you did it, I'm gonna shove my fist so far up your ass! Oh, I swear to God. Now, guys, maybe I should take the fall for this. But, Cody, you didn't do it. But I think he already suspects me. I mean, the poop is right next to my foot, so I think maybe I should just own up to it. No, 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 he doesn't know any of us did it. I think we should just leave him alone. Okay, but I think I should do the next prank. What, I, not on Chef Pee, Pee right? Yeah, no, on Chef Pee, Pee I'm gonna do the next prank. Why? Uh, Cause I think I should be the one to do it. Just, I have an idea. What? Oh my God, I can't believe I have to start over and make a whole new chicken. Hey there, Chef Pee, Pee you look stressed out. Why don't you sit down and take a load off? Oh, Cody, I'm not falling for that trick. That's the oldest trick in the book. I'm not in preschool. What trick? This is just a harmless cushion. That is a whoopee cushion. I'm not falling for your stupid pranks, Cody. Get out of my kitchen. Okay, but I did try to prank you, so you're gonna punish me, right? Is the fisting still an option? Get out of my kitchen. I'm trying to cook some damn chicken, Cody. Okay, fine. I didn't want you to fist my ass anyway. It's weird. It's weird you mention it. Well, guys, my prank didn't work. I got caught. How'd you get caught? Well, I tried to use a whoopee cushion, but it was bright green. It's pretty hard to hide. So what did Chef Pee do when he caught you? Well, he didn't put his fist up my ass, I'll tell you that. Well, I'm gonna try to prank Chef Pee next. What's the point? He's not gonna put his fist up your ass. I have the best prank idea ever! I'm gonna put rat poison in Chef Pee food.
food. What the f***, Junior? That's gonna kill him. No, it's not. It's only made for rats. It would kill anybody who eats it. Then why isn't it called anybody poison? Well, because it's designed for killing rats. Exactly. It'll only kill rats, not humans. Junior, it says right there on the bottle, danger, do not consume. That's for the rats. It's for the f***ing rats? They put it on the bottle for the rats to read it? Rats can't read, Junior. The rat and rat we can read. Junior, how many times do I have to explain to you that cartoons aren't real life? Cody, listen. They make specific poisons for specific animals. Like, this is made for rats. Rat poison. They also have mosquito poison. They have bug spray for spiders and wasps. This is only made for rats. It won't kill a human. Junior, poison is poison. It would kill anybody. Then why doesn't it just say poison? Why does it specifically say rat poison? It should just say poison then. Because this is for rats, but it's- That's for rats. Thank you. So if I give it to Chef Pee, Pee he won't die. No, he's still gonna die. So you're calling Chef Pee, Pee a rat? What? No, I didn't say that. I'm just explaining how the poison works. So you're saying if Chef Pee, Pee eats it, he's gonna die, so this kills rats, so you're gonna it kill- It would kill anybody. Oh, so you're calling all humans rats. What? No, no. What are you, Hitler? What? Hitler didn't think people were rats. So now you're defending Hitler. I'm not defending Hitler. I'm just explaining how poison works. Okay, I'm gonna go put this on Chef Pee's food. It's not gonna kill him. Okay, fine. Tell me how that goes. Ooh, the chicken look damn good. As long as nobody shits on it, it'll be perfectly fine. What? Well, wait, where's that damn seasoning? It was right here. Oh my God. Oh man, just need a little bit, add a little sauce to it, you know what I'm saying? And I just take a little bite. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Pranked! Pranked! Should be Pranked! What happened, Junior? He died? Oh, I get what you did. You called Chef Pee Pee when I was walking downstairs and told him to act like he was dying when he ate the rat poison to teach me a lesson. Oh, I called him, huh? Well, here's my phone. You can check my call history. I didn't call him. You probably deleted the calls. No, just didn't call him. Well, who would have thought that rat poison would kill a human? Me. Me. I did when I told you that would happen. Okay, well, th this company has to be in trouble because no way do they say for humans not to eat it. It says right there, danger, do not consume. That's for the rats. That's that's for the rats? They put it there for the rats to read? Why would they warn the rats you were trying to kill them? To give them a fair chance or a fair fight? No, Junior. They put it there so people who can read would know not to eat it because they die. Oh, so if you don't know how to read, this won't kill you. It only kills people who know how to read. No, they put it there so people who can read know that they would die if they eat it or feed it to someone else. So if I don't know how to read, how do I know this would kill me? It, because there's a little symbol right there of a rat dying. Yeah, but I would only assume rats would die, not me. Junior... I think they just assume people weren't stupid enough to try to eat it. Well, I think they need to repackage this because it looks extremely close to Miralax. That it does. I will give you that. Okay, so what do we do now? Like, what happens now? What's our plan? I don't know. I might call the police. Why? Why? Because you murdered Jeff Peepee. No, he could have died of old age. Old age? Or maybe it's the rat poison in his system. Yeah, and then, and then you know what happened? The cops are going to assume that he didn't know that it would only kill rats. They, no, they're they, not going to assume that. They're going to assume that everybody knows that rat poison kills people. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to tell them that I'm an impractical joker. Oh, okay, maybe that'll hold up in court, an impractical joker. It was very impractical, Junior, I'll give you that. It was a very impractical joke, if you can even call it a joke. I call it murder. Well, I'm just going to... I don't know what to do. Jeffy, just push the U2's ad. Oh. Hey, guys, check it out. There's a Jeffy U2's, and you can get one down in the link in the description. So make sure you guys go check that out and get them, because you're pretty cool. It's me going, yay, right here on the red couch. All right, kid, you're coming with me for the murder of Chef Pee Pee. Wait, you called the cops, Cody? Yeah, sorry. Oh, you bitch! Jeffy, I swear if that hits me. What are you gonna do? I'll rip up your dumb toy. Okay. Mommy, can you throw that back to me? Here you go. Well, don't, don't give it back to him. Ugh. <laughs> it's good! Well, that's just rude. Jeffy, you're grounded. Why? Because you hit me with the stupid toy and then... <sighs> Let me answer the door. Hello? Hey, Marvin. <laughs> Why do you have a cat? This is my $5 million cat, Mrs. Bigglesworth. Why is it $5 million? Because it's a Himalayan Yeti long hair. A Yeti and a cat banged, and this popped out, and I bought it for $5 million. Well, why'd you bring it here? Because I need you to watch her for me, Marvin. Every time I watch your animal, something bad happens. Oh, come on, Marvin. I had this wicked hot girl coming over, but she's allergic to cats. And I don't want her sneezing on me. Ew. So I just need you to watch her for 10 minutes. Why only 10 minutes? Because I don't last long. Plus, the post-nut clarity's gonna kick in, and I'm gonna gonna want her to leave. Actually, it's gonna be nine minutes because my pants are already down. <sighs> okay, fine. Give me the damn cat. Alright, thanks Marvin. 
<clears throat> Marvin, why do you have a cat? Goodman wants me to watch it for 10 minutes. Oh no, something bad always happens. Not if we watch it for 10 minutes. <laughs> oh, darn it. Get, 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 get the cat, get the cat. Oh, no, 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 get, get, get. Oh, darn it. She what do went, we do now, Marvin? She went under the table, kitty. Oh no. Oh, let, let me try to get like a, a toy to get her out. Kitty, kitty, kitty. All right, baby, I got this like mouse toy. Okay, and I got this spider on a string toy. All right, let's try to get her out. Okay. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Kitty. Kitty, 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 you want Come the toy? Here. Come on, kitty. Let me see what she's doing. Uh, yep, she is under there, and she is not trying to come out. Oh, no. What do we do? Ooh, let's call a cat whisperer. Okay. Yeah. Hey there, somebody call a cat whisperer. Yeah, so there's a cat stuck in the... Shh, quiet. We have to whisper. We don't want the cat to hear us. Do you speak shh, cat? Shh, shut the fuck up. Just whisper. Okay, I'm a cat whisperer. Okay, what's going on? So, I'm supposed to watch this cat for like ten minutes. Well, actually, like nine minutes. And so, the cat got stuck under the table. I need you to grab it. Oh, that's it? That's all you need? Yeah, I need you to grab the cat. Well, we don't have to whisper for that. Usually, people just want me to talk to their cat and figure out its felines. Feelings? Felines? Yeah. Well, people usually just want me to, like, talk to their cat and figure out its favorite color or its favorite food or something. I mean, it's all a scam. I can't talk to cats any more than you can, but that's what I do. I scam people. Well, can you get the cat from under the table? Oh, yeah, that's easy. I got the perfect thing right here. Got some catnip. One smell of this and it'll come running. And it'll get high out of its goddamn mind. Okay, well, let's use the catnip. Hey, man. You wanna like this shit? Huh? You wanna like this fucking shit, bro? Huh? Oh, man. <laughs> I am zooted right now. <laughs> I'm not even me. I am a different puppet completely. <laughs> this shit is so purple it should be asking where's Ronald. This is that shit that killed Tupac. <laughs> oh, bro, 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 bro. Peep, peep Jeffy, look, look. <laughs> he is cooked, my guy. He is looking into the eyes of eternity right now. Dude is smelling shapes. <laughs> he, is, he is talking to God. Motherfucker's over there in Avatar 3. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Hey. Hey, wait. <laughs> I'm sorry, wait. I forget. Well, why am I even here, man? My cat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> kitty, kitty. <laughs> Fuck him. <laughs> Oh man, hey, 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 you know igloos? You know igloos? How how does that even work? You know? Like, because they're made of snow and ice, but they're round, and ice is slippery. They should, they should just fall over. How does that even... How's that? Oh! Oh, bro! Bro, 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 bro! I got... Oh, this is gonna be so cool. Bro, how about we get some ice from your fridge, and we make an igloo? Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> this is gonna be so cool. Okay. 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 I got. I got the ice. Here comes the igloo. I'm gonna build an igloo. I'm gonna live in it <laughs> with my little penguin family. Wait. These are not. Hey. These are not stacking. This is. This is impossible. The world lied. Igloos are impossible. They use bricks. They. They use bricks and they paint them white. That's what they do. That was a good nap. Wait, why is there a plate of water here? Oh yeah, igloos. Baby, 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 Goodman can be here any minute. We have to get the cat out. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got the, I got the nip right here. Um, you want to go one more time? No, we have to get the cat. Okay, lame. Okay, Marvin, where's this cat? Underneath the table. Let me take a look. Oh, look at the geeky. Your oh, geekies. Okay, yeah, it's under there. Let me try the cat nip. Hey, hey, you want some cat nip? Some pretty dank nip, huh? Take the nip. Take the cat nip, you stupid cat. Ugh. Maybe we should light some up just to show the cat it's good. No, we have to hurry up and get the cat out. Okay, yeah, I got something else. I got a laser pointer. Cats love laser pointers. Hey, you want the laser? Go get it. Go get it. It's not working. Okay, this is stupid. I'm just gonna go in there. It's a cat. I can grab it. Yeah, just grab it. Oh, oh God! Oh, get off my face! Ow! Oh, oh, God, it's distracting me! Are you okay? No, Marvin, you should do something! Ow, 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 get off! What am I supposed to do? I don't know! Ow, God, it hurts! It hurts! Ow! Oh, 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 God, it scratched my face! Oh, are you okay? No, I'm not okay! It bit my ear and it scratched my eye! God damn it, I hate cats! Well, uh, but you're a cat whisperer. No, no, I'm a dog person! God, I hate cats! I wish they'd all die! I hope you die, cat! You hear me? Uh, okay, all right. I'm getting that cat out of there. This is personal now! Alright, I'm going in. Well, what is that? It's a lightsaber! What do you think it is? Get out of here, stupid cat! I have the high ground! Oh, stop it! Stop it! Stop it! 
What? Well, what are you doing? I'm trying to get the cat out of there. It's a Sith. That's inhumane. Yeah, well, it's inhumane what it did to my face. Don't use a lightsaber. <sighs> yeah, you're right. It's not the Jedi way. Master Yoda would be pissed. Anyway, I have a better idea. I can use this hammer and maybe try to scare it out with loud noises. Get out of here, stupid cat. Stupid idiot cat. Get you know what? Get out of here! Get out of here! No, 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 stop it! Use, use other things other than weapons. Okay, fine. I will get it out humanely. All right, I got this dog. His name is Killer. How is that dog gonna help get the cat out? Like this. Sick him! Get him! Tear him apart! Fuck him up! Rip his head off! Humanely! Yeah, humanely rip his head off! No, 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 get that dog out! Listen, I want the cat alive, not- I don't want you to kill it. Killer's not gonna kill anybody. Well, okay, maybe he will. His name is Killer. I need the- I need the cat in one piece. <sighs> really? Oh, God, you're not making this easy for me. You can't get the cat out? Hey, do you wanna try? You saw what it did to me! Well, listen, can you do your job or not? Yes, I can. Okay, but you're sure you need him alive? I need him alive! Okay, okay, I got it. All right, I got this. What is that? This is my police issue taser. A taser? I said don't kill the cat! I'm not gonna kill the cat. I'm just gonna electrocute it with 100,000 volts. And that's not gonna kill it? No, look, it's just gonna knock the cat out so I can drag it out from under the table and then it'll wake up wherever you want it to. And you promise it's not gonna hurt the cat? No, I don't know. Who cares? Look, I electrocute bad guys with it all the time and they're fine. They still do bad things, so it can't be that bad. Okay, I'm going in. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Here, you little bastard. Yeah, take that. Yeah, you like that? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, just bite down on it. Yeah, put it in your mouth. Yeah, that's right. Oh, come on. Okay, what the hell is that cat made of? I tasted it three times and it didn't go down. Uh, it's part Yeti. What? Part Yeti? You didn't tell me that. I didn't think that was important. What? Not important? Of course it's important. I need fire. What, fire? Yeah, hold on. I'll be right back. All right, I just got back from the fireworks store. Fireworks store? Yeah, I figured I could use some fireworks to scare the cat out because they're loud. Like, see, I got the this bottle rocket, that could work. And then, oh, check this out. This is pretty badass. It's a pinball machine that explodes. I mean, I don't know how that'll help with the cat, but I thought it was pretty cool. And then I thought maybe I could throw one of these bombs under there and try to scare the cat out. Is that gonna hurt the cat? No, no, but it's probably just gonna make like a little flash of light, that's all. Well, it's not gonna have like fire? No, I mean, not much. No, I, I think the cat will be fine. It'll probably run out before it even explodes. Oh, okay. Okay, so I'm just gonna light this. All right, and then I'm gonna just toss that under there. Oh, uh, is the cat okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm sure the cat's fine. Uh, let, me, let me just take a look. Ooh, oh, um, hmm. Uh, did, ah, oh, oof, that's, that's, um, go. Oh, okay, yeah, that's not good. Well, is the cat okay or not? Uh, well, remember when you said you needed the cat in one piece? Yeah. Well, there are several pieces. What, several pieces? Is the cat dead? No, no, it's not dead yet. I mean, it's close. Well, no, fix it, fix it, fix it. Okay, look, it'll, it'll be fine, okay? I'll, I'll just take it to the vet and see if I can put it back together. You're the vet! Yeah, I know, I'll just take it to my office. Look, it'll be fine. Just just go sit on the couch. Uh, okay. Ugh. Okay, nurse, we're gonna do surgery. What do we got, doctor? The uh, cat. It was in a fireworks accident. Oh my god, what happened? Uh, I have no idea. I, I wasn't there. But, you know, I heard the cat was a real asshole, so, like, no big deal if it doesn't pull through. Uh, I'm gonna still do my best to try to put this together. Okay, needle and thread. Thank you. Uh, all right, let's get to sewing. All right, nurse, cut. All right, it's all sewed up. It looks stunning, doctor. Yeah, I just hope it's my size. I don't know if I got the measurements right. You're gonna look great. Yeah, I just didn't want that cat to go to waste. Waste not, want not. All right. Marvin, do you think the cat's okay? It better be okay. That was a $5 million cat. What? Yeah, it was Goodman's valuable cat. Marvin, I hate when Goodman leaves his expensive things here for us to watch. Me too. I also hate it when Brun guy leaves his catnip around Jeffy because he got into it again. Hey there. <gasps> Is the cat okay? Uh, no. It died during surgery. It died? Yeah, I'm sorry. On a related note, how you like my coat? That is a really nice coat. It's very white. Go ahead and feel it. Oh man, that is a soft coat. Oh, I know. Feels just like the cat. Yeah, because it is. What? The coat is the cat. You killed the cat and made a coat? No, the cat died during surgery and I made a coat out of it afterward. I Cruella deville the shit out of that cat. And I'm starting to see why she wanted 101 of those Dalmatians. That's sick! Thank you, I think the coat is pretty sick. No, as in you're sick in the head! No, it only would have been sick if I killed the cat to make the coat. I killed the cat out of anger and then made the coat after it was already dead. That's wrong! What, you want all that fur to go to waste and cremate it? No, this is much better. I'm gonna be warm in the winter and hot in the summer. Damn. Oh my god, Goodman's gonna kill me. Who's that? The owner of the cat. Oh, well I did him a favor because that cat was one mean, mean lima bean. Oh no, that's probably Goodman. I don't want to answer the door. I'll answer it. Anything to show off my new coat. Hello? Hey Marvin, here's the $100,000 I was going to give you for watching my cat. 
Wait, who are you? Oh, uh, I'm not Marvin. Marvin's upstairs. Oh, okay. But damn, I love your coat. Oh, thank you. I made it myself. Yeah, I'll give you $100,000 for your coat. <laughs> damn, okay. Yeah, sure. Great. Hey, Marvin. Oh, hey, Goodman. I was going to pay you $100,000 for watching my cat, but the guy who answered your door was wearing this amazing coat, and I thought it would look stunning on you. So instead of giving you $100,000, I bought this coat for you. Y you bought this coat? I sure did. Now, all you got to do is just give me my cat back, and I'll be on my way. Uh... No, Marvin, this coat's for you. Just give me my cat back and you can keep the coat. Yeah... I don't understand why you're doing this, Marvin. I just want my cat back, so just give me the cat back and stop playing these games. I gave you your cat back. Your, that, that's your cat. Your cat's the coat. What the fu- Guys, you ready to watch the WWE fight tonight? Yeah! Hell yeah! Bone Crusher's gonna fight Jeffrey the Giraffe. Wait, Jeffrey the Giraffe from Toys R Us? Yeah. Oh, Jeffrey's gonna get his ass beat, dude. Well, I'm gonna go for Jeffrey. Well, I want Bone Crusher to win. He always wins. Yeah, he crushes bones, dude. Well, let's turn it on so we can watch. Hello and welcome to the WWE Championship. Today, it's Bone Crusher versus Jeffrey the Giraffe. Come on, Jeffrey! Let's go, Bone Crusher! Crush the bones! The winner gets this championship belt! Let the fight begin! Come here, Jeffrey! Oh, he's got the stool! Oh, that's gotta hurt! Ouch! Oh, Bone Crusher's not playing today! He's trying to crush his skull with a stool! I got something special for you, Jeffrey! <laughs> Are you ready for the bone crushing? Bone crushers opened up a can of whoop ass! Help! Help! Where you think you're Help! going? Help! Come back here! Help! Where you going? No! Time for the dragon, bro! Oh, I think he's done! One, two, three, it's over! Bone Crusher's the champion! I told you I could go it! I told you I would win! Bone Crusher wins! Yay! I told you Bone Crusher was gonna beat Jeffrey! Oh, poor Jeffrey. This is not fair! Bone Crusher's too good, he's undefeated! Well, I could beat him! No, you couldn't. Yes, I could! It'd be easy! Well, there's no way they'll ever let some stupid kid versus Bone Crusher. Yeah. What? Hey, kids! Have you ever wanted to fight Bone Crusher? I sure wouldn't. Well, we're having a charity event with the Mana Food Bank, and whoever can donate the most cans of food gets a can of whoop-ass in the ring with Bone Crusher! Damn right! So donate as many cans of food as you can today! Oh my god, Jeffy, look! There's a chance you can fight Bone Crusher! All you have to do is donate a bunch of cans of food! But I don't have a bunch of cans of food! Alright, Jeffy, it's time for dinner, come on. Oh, alright guys, I gotta go eat dinner, I'll be back. Okay, Jeffy, here's your dinner. Green beans. I'm so grateful. And we went to the store and bought you a month's supply of food. Jeez, you really shouldn't have. You know I don't like green beans, so I don't know why you even do it. At this point, it's child abuse. Yeah, Marvin, why do you keep giving him green beans? Because they're good for him. False! This sodium in here is 380 milligrams, which is enough to put me in cardiac arrest before my 21st birthday. Jeffy, just shut up and eat them. Come on, baby, let's go. You only buy these so they end up on the floor. So let's start with that. Wow, that is a lot of cans of food. I could turn those in and fight Bone Crusher. That's what I'm gonna do. Guys, check out all these cans of food. Wow, Jeffy, that's so many green beans. I bet if you donated all those green beans, they'd let you fight Bone Crusher. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. And lose. I'm not gonna 
gonna lose. I think you guys are underestimating my R strength. Well, wait, how do we donate those cans? Like, where do we go? Well, I'll just call up the WWE Association and tell them to come get their beans. Hey there, I'm Steve Staleberger. I represent the WWE. Why'd you call me? Because I wanted to turn in all these cans of green beans to fight Bone Crusher. Holy moly, that's a lot of cans. You win. You get to fight Bone Crusher. Wait, he wins? No one else donated cans? No, nobody else donated cans because they don't want to fight Bone Crusher. They don't want to die. Well, I'm going to win. Okay, whatever you say, kid, as long as you sign all the waivers. Now, I'm going to collect all these cans. Just hold on. Let me go pop my trunk. Wow, Jeffy, you get to fight Bone Crusher. Are you nervous? No, because I know I'm going to win. Oh, ma make room. He has to get the cans. So what's your wrestling name going to be? My what? Your wrestling name. You need a scary wrestling name, like Bone Crusher. He has a scary name. Yeah. Um... Mine could be Poopy Diaper. Well, that's not very intimidating. Well, it is when there's a grumpy in my diaper. Dude, it has to be something cool. Yeah, something scary. Yeah, like heart disease. That's not scary, Cody. Well, it's the number one cause of death in America. Well, how about something like the Big Bad Wolf, and you dress up like a wolf, and then you can say, I'm gonna huff, and I'm gonna puff, and I'm gonna beat your ass. Ooh, that's yeah, fine, dude. That's cool. Okay. Yeah, Jeffy, so go dress up like a wolf, and then go fight him. I, I promise you, you'll be scary. All right. Hello and welcome to another WWE World Championship. Tonight, Bone Crusher has decided to donate his belt to whoever wins. So in this corner, we have Bone Crusher. Your bones are gonna get crushed today. And in this corner, the Big Bad Wolf. I'm gonna huff and puff and knock your ass out. Okay, let the fight begin. You ready to die, kid? I'm gonna kick your ass! Get off me! You know who I am? I'm Bone! Ugh. Okay, that's it! No more going easy on you! Alright, you ready? Ah! Oh, Jeffy used the stool! Okay, that kid's gonna die! Okay! Oh, bonked him with the claw hammer. I don't know if that's legal, folks. All right, he's gonna die. Screw this. Uh, ah! Hey, kid, stop. You know this is off the show, right? It's wrestling. It's fake. You're going a little too hard. You're actually starting to hurt me. You're not gonna trick me, Bone Crusher. No! no kid, stop. No! No! the chair. This might be over early, folks. Uh, hey man, do you want me to stop this? Because he's kicking your ass. Yes! Oh. <laughs> oh, from the top of the ropes! That's gotta hurt! Listen, kid, just pick up my leg and tap me out. It's over, you win. And you kick me in the face? I'm not falling for that, bum crusher! Where's he going? Someone tell me where he's going! Where's he going? Oh. My. God! Dear Lord, he has the ladder! Are you ready to die, fucker? No, please! Please don't do it, no! No! no. Oh. One! Two! Three! He's dead! The Big Bad Wolf wins! The winner, by murder, the Big Bad Wolf! Yeah, I told those three little pigs that I would win! Wow, Jeffy wasn't lying. He really kicked Bone Crusher's ass. Like, he killed him. Hey guys, check out my new belt! I got that W! Jeffy, why'd you go so hard? You killed the guy. Well, he was asking for it. You do know wrestling's fake, right? Oh, I didn't know that. But the news! Breaking news, okay? Bone Crusher, a famous wrestler, has died. His funeral will be held tonight for anyone who wants to attend. Oh, wow, he's actually dead. I thought maybe he was faking it. No, I felt his neck snap. Oh, man, now my favorite wrestler's dead. Oh, R.I.P. Bone Crusher. Wow, Jeffy, good going. You killed Joseph's favorite wrestler. Well, I didn't mean to. We should go to his funeral. Yeah, let's go to Bone Crusher's funeral. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. Dearly beloved.
beloved, we are gathered here today to mourn the loss of our beloved Bone Crusher, whose bones were ironically crushed in his last wrestling match. Would anyone like to say anything before we bury him six feet under? <laughs> <laughs> There's something I want to say! There is one thing I would like to say about Bone Crusher. I DON'T BELIEVE HE'S DEAD! Oh, 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 oh dear God! The horror! The horror! Oh my God. Jesus, dude, stop! Jimmy, stop it! Oh God! Marvin, Jeffy ate all his green beans! He really did? Yes, he ate every can! Every can? Jeffy wouldn't eat that much. Jeffy, get in here! Hey there, your son's under arrest. For what? Well, he killed a guy and then beat up the guy's corpse at the funeral. Jeffy, why would you do that? Oh, he actually committed a whole alphabet list of crimes. Here, I'll name them off for you. A is for aggravated assault. B is for beating a corpse. C is for choking a corpse. D is for defiling the dead. E is for extortion because he called the guy's parents afterward and then asked for money or else he'd kill them. F is for felonious activity because I'm pretty sure what he did is a felony. G is for grave robbing. H is for hate crime because Bone Crusher had a little bit of black on him, but he's also a skeleton, so I don't really know how that works. I is for ignoring the law. J is for jaywalking because when I tried to arrest him, he crossed the street, but he didn't use a crosswalk. K is for killing. L is for larceny, and I don't know what that means, but it sounds bad. M is for murder. N is for neglect. O is for, oh my god, how could you do that to a corpse? P is for personal injury. Q is for quite ridiculous what he did. R is for resisting arrest. S is for strangulation. T is for threatening, because he threatened me when I tried to arrest him. U is for under the influence, because he must be, because why else would he do that? V is for violence. W is for why would anyone do that? X is for xylophone, because he played the guy's ribs like a xylophone. Y is for why would you do that? Again, why would anyone do that? And Z is for zebra stripes because he's going to be wearing black and white stripes when he's in jail. Jeffy, why would you do all those things? Because I got this shiny belt for beating up Bone Crusher. Oh, is that real? Yep. I've always wanted a WWE belt. Hmm. Okay, I'll tell you what. I'll, I will drop all these charges if you give me that belt. Well, I won this fair and square. Jeffy, give him the damn belt. Okay. Oh, this is going to be so cool. I'm going to be like a wrestler. Here, take it. Oh, sweet. Oh, Jeffy, I cannot believe you did all that, but I, I, you got really lucky that he wanted your stupid belt. Now, I have one more question. Did you really eat all your green beans? Did you check the floor? Ooh, you goober! Shine stepping dog poop. Ew, no, Jeffy, why would you want to do that? Because I like the sound it makes when I step on it. No, Jeffy, you can't go outside and step in dog poop. That's gross, Jeffy. Well, I'm going to do it anyway. Well, if you're going to do it anyway, can you at least put shoes on? Ew, Marvin. But Daddy, I can't find my shoes. What do you mean you can't find your shoes? Well, they ran away. How'd your shoes run away? I don't know, but they did it, Daddy. Jeffy, shoes can't run away unless you're the one in the shoes running. Well, I just can't find them, Daddy. Did you look everywhere? Well, I looked everywhere and I thought that they could be. And where's that? On my feet. They're not on your, if they were on your feet, they wouldn't be lost, Jeffy. Look, I'm going to help you find your shoes. All right, Daddy. <gasps> Jeffy, I found your shoes! No way! I looked everywhere! Oh, Booger, why are you two in my shoes? Bad Booger, bad! Now we have to get your new shoes, Jeffy. One day, I can step in dog poop without shoes. No, Jeffy, we'll get your new shoes and you're not stepping in dog poop in them. <sighs> <sighs> did you find Jeffy's shoes, Marvin? Yes, I did, but his pet dinosaur Booger ate him. Oh, no! So now we have to get Jeffy new shoes, and they're going to be so expensive. Well, I could go to the thrift store and buy him a used pair of shoes. Yeah, just do that. Can you give me the Poop Stompers 3000? No, Jeffy, you're not going to stop and poop in your new shoes. Okay, I'll be right back. Marvin, I'm back. Oh, my God, those shoes are cool. Mommy, those shoes are the tits. How much do those cost? They were only $20, Marvin, and the owner of the store said Michael Jordan used to wear these when he was a kid. Michael Jordan? Yeah! Well, they're about to belong to Scotty Poop and after he gets unstepping in dog poop with him. Or Shaquille O'Neal. Or, or Fecal Jordan. <laughs> Jeffy, put these shoes on. Daddy, look, these shoes fit perfectly. Well, you better take care of them, Jeffy. Oh, don't worry, Daddy. I'm only going to step in the finest dog turds with these babies. You better not, Jeffy. Yeah, Jeffy, actually take care of these shoes. Look, I bet your friends are jealous. Go show your friends. Oh, you're right, Daddy. I bet you they don't have dog turd stompers like these babies. I'll be right back. Oh, I made it again! <laughs> when do we get a turn? We're playing Make It Take It, so whenever I miss it, that's when you get a turn. But I don't miss. <sighs> We're gonna be here all night. <laughs> See? He keeps making it. 
Oh. He just keeps making it. Forever. See, see, watch this. Uh, do it again. Uh, oh, God. Oh, finally he missed. We get a turn. Yeah, okay, finally. Now it's my turn. Hey, guys, can I play? No, we haven't even had our turn yet. Cody, just let Jeffy have a turn. He probably sucks at basketball. He's going to miss this shot anyway. Okay. Right. Whoa, he made it. Oh, you know what? New rules. Everybody has to shoot from way back there because we're shooting from way too close. Okay. From right here? Yeah, from right there. He's totally going to miss this. Yeah. Yeah. What? You made it from there? Heck yeah! Well, uh, uh, you have to make it from the balcony now. How about that? Okay. Yeah, he's gonna miss that. Yeah. All right, Jeffy, try to make it from up here. Dude, I can't even make it from up here. I know, I'm trying to get Jeffy to lose his turn. All right, watch this. Heck yeah! What? How did you keep making it? Oh, I know a shot that you definitely can't make. Come on! All right, Jeffy, for this next shot, you have to shoot the ball over the balcony and make it to the goal. But Junior, that's impossible. And you have to do it over your head. That's even more impossible. Just go sit by the goal and see if he makes it. All right, Jeffy, shoot the shot. All right. Whoa, he made it. Dude, he just doesn't miss. What? He made that? Yeah, yeah, he did. Oh, when's he ever going to miss? I don't know. Did I make it? Yeah, Jeffy, how are you so good at basketball? I don't know. It must be the new shoes I got from Michael Jordan. What? Michael Jordan used to have those shoes? No way, dude. Oh, this is like that movie, Like Mike. What? What? Well, you know, that movie where the kid gets Michael Jordan's shoes and they make him good at basketball? That never happened. Wait, that's a thing? Uh, yeah. Wait, wait. Wait, so you're saying that Jeffy's only good at basketball because he has Michael Jordan's old shoes? I mean, maybe. Wait, so you're saying as long as he's wearing those shoes, he's never going to miss? I, I guess. Jeffy, let's try it. All right, Jeffy, try to make a shot. All right. <clears throat> All right, now take the shoes off. All right. Try to make another shot. He missed! It's the shoes! It's the shoes! Oh, my God. So if Jeffy's wearing those shoes, he could be in the NBA. He'll never miss. He'll win, like, 25 championships. Oh, my God, that's awesome! Uh, who could that be? Hello? Hey, man. Uh, what are you doing here? Hey, do you have any eggs? Eggs? Yeah, my wife wants to make scrambled eggs, but we don't have any eggs. Why didn't you go to the store? Well, because that cost money, and I figured I could get them for free from you. I mean, you're not going to say no, right? I, I came all this way. <sighs> They're in the fridge. Thanks, bud. Ooh, I'm going to get a drink while I'm here, too. Ooh, and maybe some chips. I mean, he already said yes to the eggs. He's not going to say no to that. Dude, he just doesn't miss! What? What's that all about? Come on, Jeffy, make it again. Yeah, come on. Guys, I've already made it like 300 times. I know, just do it one more time. Please. What's going on in here? This kid can't miss when he shoots the basketball. What? Yeah, yeah, he just can't miss a shot. He's been making them all night. No way, show me. Yeah, 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 try, try this shot, Jeffy. All right. Yeah. Whoa. See, he just doesn't miss. Wow, kid, you should go pro. Well, he's really young, he can't go pro yet. Huh, yeah, you're right. But he's not too young for me to use him to hustle some people down at the gym. Huh. Hey, kid, come with me to the gym. I think you guys are good enough to beat the national champs. Wait, really? Yeah, come on. There they are. They're legit. Best, best. God, they're really good. Yeah, there's a reason they won the championship. You think we can beat them? Not you, your friend. But a basketball team needs five people, so also you. Okay. I'm gonna go see if they'll accept the challenge. That's what I'm talking about, Tron! That's what I'm talking about! Excuse me, sir. Hey, what do you want? I'd like to make a little wager. A wager? Yeah, I'd bet this kid and his friends could beat you and your team in a game of basketball. <laughs> You know we the champions, right? Well, yes, sir, I do know that. Which is why I'd be willing to bet $50,000 that this kid could beat you in basketball. $50,000? Oh, you serious, serious? Oh, I'm serious. You don't have $50,000. <laughs> hey, so, uh, so we have a deal? Uh, hold on, let me see, let me see. Hey, y'all think we could beat these little kids in a basketball game? <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got a challenge. All right, I'll get the rest of the kids. Hey, and if we, if we win... You never get to touch a basketball another day in your life. You got that? I don't know how you'd ever enforce that, but okay. Yeah, that's what I thought. Hey, kids, you ready to make me $50,000? What? He thinks we can beat a professional basketball team. But we can't beat a professional basketball team. Well, not on your own, but Jeffy can. He never misses. Yeah, guys, I think we can do it. All right, come on. All right, what scrums are we going up against? They're right there. Uh, check out the half-court shot. Almost, okay, almost, yeah, y'all made right. that, y'all saw that, right? Yeah, what yeah, yeah almost, it's the effort that counts, it's the effort. Okay, but that was pretty good. Yeah. yeah, we're going up against them? I think so, dude. Don't worry, your friend here can't miss, isn't that right, Jeffy? 
right. I don't miss anything. I just keep making buckets. Okay, let's do this. Hey! <laughs> I didn't think you'd actually show up. What, do you think I'd make a $50,000 bet involving children and not show up? No, we're here and we're ready to play. Where's your team? Oh, my team's here. Hey, guys, and one girl. Come here. Yeah, my team's here. And we got another guy in the bathroom. But we here. All right, let's play then. Well, let's play then. Okay, let's play. Be prepared to never touch another one of these ever again in your life. Well, that's not really much of a change for me, but all right, yeah. Yeah, come on. Ow. All right, you guys ready for tip-off? Oh, yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> hey, y'all, look. He's wearing a diaper. We're playing against a baby. <laughs> it's going to be easy. Jeffy, don't let him get in your head. Uh -huh. All right, you ready? Oh, yeah, I'm ready. Yeah, I'm ready. What do I do? What do I do? Pass it to Jeffy! Yeah! He made that? Oh no. Come on, guys! Oh, it's on now! Oh my god, you see the three-pointer? Way to go, Jeffy! Good shot, Jeffy! I know. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Uh, 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 uh. Yes, sir! What? What? It's on me, baby! It's Damn it! Come on, guys! Step it up! Oh, dude, I love basketball! Pass it to Jeffy! No, dude, I got this! Pass it to Jeffy! Oh, dude, I'm gonna make it! Watch this! Ugh. Oh, dude! Are you supposed to pass it to Jeffy? Dude, I just ate popcorn! Oh, Ooh, yeah! Ooh. when you don't give the ball to Jeffy. Well, I'm sorry, dude. Pass the ball to Jeffy. God. Uh, uh, Jeffy! Oh, where are you going, Jeffy? Where are you going? Uh, I'm going this way. Uh. <laughs> we losing! We don't lose! Oh, my God! Another three points! We are killing it! You ain't got this? You ain't got this? Oh, here you go, Tron. <laughs> Get out of my house! This is my house! <laughs> Tighten up, Tron! Tighten up! Yeah, come on! Yeah, I don't know what to do! I don't know what to do! Pass the ball to Jeffy! Yeah, but he's so far away, though! Well, yeah, yeah, yeah! That's what I'm about. You got the ball stolen away from a girl? Yeah! Yeah! Oh, girl did that! Oh, girl did that! Yeah! Your girl! It's your girl! <laughs> that happened because of you. I'm sorry. Okay, six to six. A tied game. Come on, we got this! Where you going? Where you going? You ain't making another shot today. Junior! Alley! Okay! Y'all see me dunk that? Yeah, that was crazy! Yes, yeah, the shoes! Yes, yeah, those shoes! The shoes! Shoes. You can't cover me. You can't cover me. Woo! Hey, he took my shoes! How do I keep getting the ball? Just pass the ball to Jeffy. Hey, Jeffy! No! Wait, no, you take it! No, I don't have my shoes! Wait, he doesn't have his shoes! Uh, time out! Hey, you can't call time out! Time out, time out! What, what's going on? Why'd you guys call time out? One more shot and we win! Someone took my shoes. Yeah, someone took his shoes. What? Okay, I don't even have legs. Who cares? Why do you need shoes? There's something we didn't tell you. Wh what? The shoes he had on. They used to belong to Michael Jordan. They were magical shoes. And it, it made him where he wouldn't miss a single shot. What? Oh, oh, I don't have time for this shit. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Wh well, okay, where's the shoes? Number one took them and number 11's eating them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, eat that. You deserve it, you earned it. Wh what? Oh, okay, 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 F forget about the shoes. Okay, you, you never needed the shoes. Actually, we did. Yeah, well, they made them where he didn't miss a shot. Okay, well, we're just gonna have to do without them, okay? Because you can do this, okay? I know you can do this, I believe in you. Just just look deep within yourself, okay? Because if we lose this, I'm, I'm gonna go bankrupt and I will never be able to touch a basketball ever again although I'm a lot less worried about that one. So get back out there and just get one more shot. That's all we need. Okay, let's do it. Come on, let's play. One more shot wins the game. Oh. oh, what's the matter? You can't make a shot without your magical shoes? Um, actually, I cannot. Cody, here. <laughs> Cody, shoot it. Why are you talking like that? I don't know. Just shoot it. Okay. Yeah. You made the shot! You won that! You didn't need shoes! You did it! Oh my god! Woo! Oh my 
my god, they did it! Those kids won! They actually pulled it off! I, I could kiss you. I'm gonna kiss you. I'm gonna end up on some kind of list, but I'm still gonna kiss you. Do it again. Cody, we won! Let's go celebrate! I gotta admit, those kids are pretty good. Yeah, I mean, that one kid probably just got lucky, but still, yeah, we won, so where's my money? Yeah, deal's the deal. You'll get your money. <laughs> All right, awesome! Hey, Danny! Jeffy, what happened to your new shoes? Somebody ate them. No one ate them, Jeffy, stop lying! Danny, you have no idea the truth behind what I just said. Hey, Marv! But Brooklyn guy. Uh, 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 it's $50,000 guy now. <laughs> $50,000? How'd you get all this money? Well, because your son helped me win a $50,000 bet. But I scored all the points. No, you didn't score the game-winning shot. But I still want to thank you by giving you some of this money. <gasps> we get some of that money? Well, I mean, I'm going to give it to your dad because that seems more responsible. Okay, how, how much are we getting? You are going to get $100. $100? Yeah, you can buy your kids some new shoes. Hey, Dad, can we get the Poop Stompers 3000s? <sighs> yeah, let's go. Sweet. Can't really pick it up. I got you. Wait, no, give it. I, I need it. Oh, sorry, sorry. All my money, I just. <laughs> <laughs>